George Young, you good? <laughs> Make sure your hat's in the camera. All right, I, yo. I have no idea. Yo, sneak this podcast episode right. 171. Probably looks ridiculous. Mm, 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 mm. I'm fine. No, Appreciate everybody. This probably looks ridiculous. I mean, I'm fine. You look like, you know, 80s, 88, 89. <laughs> yes, 80s. You know, I go 80, 87, 89. You, know, you haven't reached the 90s yet. Actually, you might look like 91. <laughs> uh, appreciate everybody listening to the podcast. Obviously, like, subscribe, subscribe, review, download, do all that stuff, share, uh, comment, everything. Obviously, Andy's in the building today. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I did forget one other day, but guess what? That was a Jay that Jay sent us those beanies. Came in clutch. With what? I forgot my hat that day. Oh, that's right. And he sent us those beanies. We might as well start leaving backup hats here, though. <laughs> You're <laughs> leaving too much stuff here, though. Slide, 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 slide like a beanie in there. Make sure that bug over there. He didn't revive himself. Man, shouldn't. Uh, appreciate Soul Search Podcast who came through last week. That was dope. You know, that was that was quite the task trying to get everybody on camera. I wish we had enough mics. And actually, it kind of worked out with the mics. You, like, could, you hear. could still hear yeah. pretty well, they're, good. They're, they're loud, though. So. Yeah, they stay loud in New Yorkers, though. So that was dope. I, I love that. You the know, audio so. was not a problem. The side of your head and that camera. You're right, yo. <laughs> I was like, fam, I know my head is not in this camera. I was like, yo, thank God I had an edge up, a, a low key <laughs> edge up in the back. And I was like, yo, if my stuff would have been lucky, trash, that line was straight. I was like, you right, because I do it myself. I'm a master at it. All right. Man. Yes, you got the longest arms in America. It's been a good week, fam. That was a good episode, though. That was a good episode. I love it. I enjoy them. Yeah, when, when dude was talking about Lisa, and what do you call her? Oh, Lisa uh, Turtle? What did he say? No, with the Fresh Prince, Lisa. Oh, he called her a Claudette? Yeah, yeah. He said, nah, fam, she Claudette. <laughs> I was like. With conviction. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was like, yo, what? I had no idea what he was talking about. He was so sleepy, though. Know? He said they've been doing nothing but nothing but partying. Yeah. But shout out to Social Podcast. Shout out to Bread and Butter as well. That name you know? was funny, though. Uh, today we're doing Claudette, to get that wrong. <laughs> top oh, 10 funny. Kobe's to us, which I thought we did this before, which and we, I did yes, some research. We've already done. Nah, I don't think we have. Oh, we already did it. I did some research. I made the list, and I was like, I already made this list. No, nah, I think we made a No one's going to care, list. but we I'm going to tell you this, this uh, making this list, Kobe sucked, no. They, you smoking like Sherm. I'm looking at this. I was like, no, 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 these no, no, weren't no. even tight when they came out. Now they're super tight. No, no, no. Colorways are fire of models. But like overall, you're like, fam, you, I, I bet your entire list is four, maybe five, maybe an eight, Me. maybe one six. And that's it. No, more than one six. More than once. Okay. Yes. There's I, only had, I had two sixes. Okay, I have two. There's at I least two. Sixes two. You know, you're right. I, I got remember. two sixes. There's only three sixes that are, I think are fire still. Oh, and, that's, no, that's, that's not yeah. possible. No, I have three. three. I have three. I think. Yeah, and that's not possible. You I, I can tell you. I can tell you every one you have, right off the bat. Oh, actually, I have. I'm sure I have five sixes on my list. Man, oh, what? That's majority sixes. That's impossible. Though. You never. You didn't own a six. It's not impossible. Oh no, you own two sixes. You're right. You're right. What are you talking about? You're right. <laughs> I own You're a right. bunch of them. You're I sold. Right. I don't own any more. I sold them all. I, I own them. Either. I don't own any of my sixes. The number one and number two shoe on my list, I didn't own because they're. Out of this galaxy, I'm wearing Kobe's right now. And that wasn't superheroes. a that wasn't a galaxy joke, by the way. That was yeah. just, <laughs> yeah. Galaxy Sevens are not on my list because Sevens. Oh, suck. Whoa. Seven models suck, but the Galaxy colorway I'm not was putting pretty a fire. Shoe on my list because of cat colorway is good I on know. a terrible shoe. No, you know what? I don't think Kobe Sevens looked bad, but you get it. It's plastic. It's it's yeah, a trash. No, they don't shoe. look bad in a picture, but when you look at it. Up close, it's literally has like it's corduroy not bad, plastic it's lines not that bad. on. Bro, yes, it is. What I was, was looking at the Galaxy Seven. I was like, that's kind of fire. But it's then, kind I, of fire, then, then you're sucks. like, oh wait, it's like I got it's like that plastic. for you in raffle. It those sucks. Bro, George got me Galaxy Seven and a nine and a half. It was too little. I got a ten. It was too little. I got a ten and a half. It was still too little. I was like, what's up with this shoe? Though? I could not figure that shoe out. Though. Got rid of them. Though. I had invisible cloaks. And that didn't fit either. Like now, I, that shoe was fire, but the model it was up. fire. That was a fire shoe. You, you got me. And Andy wore Kobe's this weekend. Yeah, like, what you gonna talk about, fam? Right. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that was this weekend. I thought that was like in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, why they spell Odell like this? Huh? Who? Why they spell Odell? It's like overseas. That? <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody else. <laughs> That's a different one. Nancy Odell. Uh, but like I said, we're doing top 10 Kobe's to us. To me, I was like, yo, the Kobe's are whack, man. I love the colorways. I think, and you're right. There were some colorways I saw, and I said, yo, these joints are fire now. All right. Back I then. Got, I don't even got, uh, what's the blue one? I don't even got that on here. Miles Davis? You're lying. T serious. Throw your list in the trash then. Uh, because me serious. and you talk about Miles Davis 5. You're right, but I went back and looked. It's not even top ten. Oh, <laughs> nah, nah, you whack. No. Miles Davis guarantee if that came out, that'd probably be the one we would pay retail. For. Oh, I'm still gonna cop it. That, but that's because Kobe's are fire. 
Okay. So Kobe's come I can't out. Wait to hear your I'm copping all of them. I can't know you're not because you ain't copping none of the ones. Uh, all the uh, ones on here, I'm copping. Uh, <laughs> I'm tell. All right, okay. One, I'm not copping because I had it already. You ain't copping no sixes. Huh? Yes, I am. Uh-huh. I have five sixes on here. You're not copping to wear sixes. Huh? Yes, no, I you're am. Not. No, you're not. So. Okay, those two that I sold, uh, they were 11 and a half. That's why I sold them. If they were 12, I still would own them because I would have worn them all the time. I doubt that, no. I don't know about that. We'll I got I got uh, what you call us on here that you might not even have anymore. You, you might have sold them. You sold all your Kobe 8s. No, I have all my Kobe 8s still. You do? GR Kobe 8s did. are hitting for like 300. I was hoping you still had them because you got Blitz Blue, right? Are, yes. None of mine are DS. Them joints 350 online. Blitz Blue Kobe 8s. I don't know if they're on your list or anybody's list. No. Blitz Blue Kobe 8s are fire. They're not on my list, but they're fire. Them joints are absolute fire. 8s might be the best ones to wear. Oh, hands down. Now. Like, hey, that's the only ones probably. They enough of those. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't wear a Kobe today. Was them Kobe's you wore this week and the only ones you got? Oh, yeah. No, um, no, I have a few more. Oh, okay. But I, I never bought Kobe's because... The Lakers. Oh, and I just never one of did the it. biggest mistakes of my life is not having Joey put in uh, employee raffle for the black and gold elite eights. So, which still was, uh, to this day. To this day, that might be the rare one of the rarest. I was, all time. I was like, I'll be able to go get it easily. He was like, uh, we only got two of them. I said, what? No, They're we saw them on the shelf there. Oh, no. the white ones. Which one did we see on the show? No, we held not them. My we size. saw them. No, no, we saw them, but we didn't. Do oh, anything. well, there wasn't a 12 in my size no, no, left. We didn't do anything. We were just like, well, uh, we just left them. We didn't do nothing. I if think it we... would have been a 12 in my size, I would have copped. I wanted that joint. Y'all copped anything this weekend? That's why I had him. It, that's how I got Blitz Blue. He did the employee raffle for me. He was doing a lot. We was doing a lot. We had actual yeah, connects I, and stuff yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, but I used huh? to hook him up, though. Like, I got black toes for him and some oh. SBs and all kinds of stuff. He hooked me up one time, and it was a, a reverse hookup. It was a soccer <laughs> cleat. I ordered, <laughs> I ordered Engineer Mesh. Air Max 90 Blues, and them joints came a uh, weird cleat. Uh, and I wear them cleats to this day. Uh, wear them all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. Right. When me and Cortez go to the grass to play soccer, I wore them. I wore them for softball, too. Yeah, I remember that. Them you cleats. didn't want to wear them, though. You're right, because I didn't want to buy no new cleats. And then I still bought new cleats. When Sports Authority went out of business, you bought everybody Mike Trout. You bought. <laughs> George bought everybody Mike Trout. $30 for like $27 <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Oh, uh, we thought we was the angels. We thought we was the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, angels in the outfield. Oh, uh, me, you, and You came wearing home. metal spikes and the umpire uh, yelled at <laughs> You, you know? I know. I went on eBay and I was like, "Yo, forget it. Softball season about to crack off. I'm about to copy some George Seven cleats." And I bought metal spike cleats and I wore them a couple games. And we played one game. The ref was like, "Go like this." Lift my foot up. He was like, "Oh, yeah, you can't wear those." And I was like, "Dang!" Luckily, Simple had a pair of backup cleats. I wore those. And them joints was raggedy though. Them joints were had a big a hole with it a big toe. Might have been the trouts. No, the it was a different season. one. It was like some hair he had a long time ago. Simple probably got like 20 pairs of cleats. Oh yeah, he does. He has you, more than that. You could feel where the big toe. Like, wore down the hole. <laughs> I hated wearing those. I was like, I do not like feeling another man's big toe circle uh, in the bottom right. of his shirt. It's always nasty. You might need to say Paul. Yeah. Pickups. Anybody got any pickups this week? Uh, Anything. Yeah, I bought some stuff. Some buy? stuff. But you buy stuff regularly. You're the new symbol. I buy stuff to re- ever since we got access to that to the monitor. <laughs> it's just copy season. I really I want buy? biotechs. I, of course you do. I bought... What are those? The black one with the red line on the side? Defiant one? Defiant ones? or whatever. What I, on earth did you buy those I for? Buy them to keep. I got no a, dub, but they're not even selling. They're selling for I got like, a size 12 for $100. Oh, okay. Yes, relax. <laughs> still, are they selling for like what? 105 uh, <laughs> 140 ish, a 12. Uh, did you get them? What's that? Did you get them yet? Have you they're, seen them? Nah, I mean, I've seen them in person already from somebody else oh, who had them. I, the, oh, I, I know they them. suck. Yeah, they're. Oh, I know they suck. I didn't buy them to keep. Trust me, it is my size, but no, there's no way. I tried so but hard. Yeah, I paid to 100 keep bucks. I'm like, man, you can't get them. Uh, yeah. OG one for even if I only make 20 dollars, it's worth it. Just sitting on my phone and clicking buttons. I got that. I got a GS. What's the Royal Blue One OG High? Like the white and Royal? No, blue and. Oh, Royal the UNC, white? the new one? No, 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 no. Wait a minute, a Royal. The all blue with the white swoosh. OG oh. High. Uh, it's oh. one no one cares about. It's like a sport. Sport blues, I think. I know what you're talking, talking about, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it up. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. GS, $48. Where are you shop? What is this? Is that what you told me about? Kith, Kith. Every, people restock and have sales. Kith put them up for $48, and I got, I got lucky. 
Let me see. This cat be texting me at night trying to get me to cop like expensive stuff. Oh, but then on right. the LO, he be copping. Man, I said, because if I send you that, it's already sold out. You got to clear that joint like immediately. You got Shatterback more satin, $66. All right. What else you got? You already sold all this Hold stuff? Hold on a second. No, nah, those haven't come yet. Oh. The Defiants are up right now. They'll probably sell this week or whatever. I'm not worried about it. Uh, hold on a second. Let me I remember f- texting Andy while I was trying to cop. Andy at cop. Hyper Royal. Hard to cop. Jeez. Hyper Royal. That's right. That was a fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they're selling for like 120 bucks or between 80 and 120. I pay 48. So obviously, once they get here, I'll be able to sell them easy. Um, what else did I buy? I ordered from SNS on that thing I was telling you about. And they haven't even sh- they haven't shipped it yet, so I don't know oh, if it still exists. Oh, you talking about uh, Consortium? I got Consortium 19. I need to see those. Um, Ultra Boost, white and greens, to keep the European Consortium pair, because the U.S. Consortium was the blue and um, gold one or whatever. Navy and gold. Oh. I think a lot of those sold out a lot of places. But they were like, the crazy part is the very next day I saw them on sale for even less, but they didn't have my size, so I was relieved. I they had my size? I think they had a 10. Oh. Mm. And they might have had a nine and a half, but it was only like 125. And the reg- retail price is like two twenty. So it's so cheap on Adidas right now. Like every day I get a boost links and they're like ninety eight dollars. And I'm like, yo, get them. Yeah, but I'm not copping a regular one if I can get one like that. It's only like forty extra dollars to get the actual nice one. Like why would I care about? I don't. I, I gotta see those in person. Though. I don't think they're as fire as we think they are. Oh, they're bro. fire. <laughs> Hannah has nineteens. I've been wearing them for however many months. Oh, the 19s. joints are fire. I think all the GRs are fire. Like uh, once you see once you see them in person. You see, oh yeah, you kind of got. You see them in person, you're like, these joints are fire. Uh, Anyways, on the dope. SNS sale, she got 270 reacts. Again, they haven't shipped this order yet, but she got 270 reacts for like 100 dollars or 105. I got those, whatever. What did I just say? Ultra Boost 19 for like 145, regular 220. Then I got uh, Fear of God raid for like, or not raid. What's the other one? It's raid. The, the straps no, across? Not that, not that other one. Oh, moccasins? I got, I got one of those for like, yeah, but I'm going to flip uh-huh. it. I got one of those for like $100 or something. I don't even know what it was. Uh-huh. And then I got another. Raids of fire, too. And then I got chlorophyll threes no, for $80. <laughs> oh, you should keep those. Nah. What size are they? 11 and a half. No, you should keep those. I, slang I, 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 my chlor- I'm Even glad if I'm I bought slang those. them for like 120, I'm slang. I'm mad I bought those way too early because I bought them when they were like 110. Like I still could have waited longer when they first got to the outlet. They were 110. Them joints are fire. One of the most underrated threes. It, the ever. colors are fine. I love it. Uh, you should keep that one. No, you got the Nike Allen? Yeah. Like a long I time ago. Family selling family. Because if I sell it, even if I make 20 $25, guess what? That makes the price of the consortium pair go like this. And then sell another one. You actually start your own stock market. He's doing in, insider <laughs> trading. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> insider <laughs> trading. Those Beats headphones I bought, I sold so many shoes since then. I already paid like a hundred dollars of the Beats headphones off before interest even hit the credit card. Are you so liking those? It's free. Are you oh, liking? Oh, you oh, sure? Oh, I don't oh, know. I've been seeing a lot of people that copped them. Nobody's saying nothing about them. I never oh, see anybody right. wearing them. All the ratings are high on every website. I'm that, sure like, the ratings are high, but do you like them? Like, the ratings might be high, but like. Yeah, but this money's not gonna. Bruh, people are writing ratings on Popeye's website about the chicken sandwich. Like, <laughs> people like something or hate something. If they feel strongly one way or the other, they're gonna write a review. So, I refuse to talk about the chicken sandwich, too. Although, we should definitely talk about it because we should have talked about it last week. Now, I, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I'm gonna say it later because it involves a lot of stuff. <laughs> just humanity what? in general okay well, <laughs> we can wrap it into that point. i have a true crime relating to that if we're going to do that whole topic you gonna read a true crime i'll read a true crime and he's gonna read a and, true and crime relate, it relates to popeyes all right and he's got a true crime lined Bruh, up i'm gonna fit that in popeyes in gilbert sold out they're sold out everywhere who's going bro? to popeyes in gilbert bro there's black people out there how many? Three? <laughs> now, my friend went to the one in Levine. He said it was white people everywhere. Though. No, he went, oh, Elliot. He said white people in there. Though. I'm not talking about the chicken sandwich. Though. I hate the chicken sandwich. Though. Now, although today, am I hungry for oh, a no. chicken sandwich? Oh, no. Yes. We're going to go get a chicken sandwich, but it's going to be, now it's going to be more expensive, but it's going to be way better than Popeye's. Why is it going to be more ex- Oh, you're talking about the <laughs> like we call, we, Yeah, I'm like, yo, I ain't paying resale. <laughs> I'm like, no. I'm like, after all you said today about them cats selling them chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Why would I suggest that? <laughs> That's exactly. what my rant's about. That was my point. That was my point. Um, you got anything else? I told Skate, I'm snuffing anybody I see. He, showed me, he sent me a video of a reseller <laughs> in L.A. 
selling actual sandwiches to like essays. Uh, I'm snuffing them if I see them. Now you actually got. I'm stomping on all this bag. Yeah, you do got to push the table over. Like somebody has to knock the table over. Like there was that video of the one cat sitting in front of Popeye selling them. Like, yeah, it is wild. Like the cats were nerds. I don't understand what's happening. I, we could talk about it a little bit later. We could talk about it. Uh, you got anything else? I think that's it. Last thing I copped was the. Uh, oh yeah, what you got? Stranger Things, uh, Tailwinds. Oh, uh, the, the green ones? No, the the burning ones. Are you gonna burn them? Yeah. You did already? No, I haven't yet. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't even see any of those. I forgot about all that stuff. I copped two. I got the Cortez blazers too, and two. Uh, but I returned them. Oh, why are you trying to sell them? I already sold. Well, them. I didn't know because like it was like a weird release. They did like the scratch off. Right. So I just got them, and then the tail ones popped up, and I got those. And I I tried to return the Cortezes before they even ship, but it was like the website was slow, and I was chatting with the lady. She's like, "Oh, it's too late now." Yeah, they only give you like oh, 30, 30 minutes, minutes out of yeah. the order. Yeah, but you just send it, put it. Yeah, in I, I, send it back. I sent it right back because they're not reselling. So I was like, uh, tail joints. Fire. People paid six fifty for the tailwinds when they did the bait San Diego like surprise release. Oh, really? Six fifty. The ones you burn? Yes. I thought that's what the shoe like, was. I thought they were like two ninety when they dropped in. Okay. Yeah, they were two ninety. Once crazy. people found out they were releasing again, and then once they actually hit like Nike and all them stores, they went to like one forty five. Them joys might come out every week. Though. I feel like I get an alert for at least one of them every single week. So they're not selling out at places. That's uh-huh. why they I- sold. So people were paying six fifty. Shout out to now. Rick. I don't know if it came with a special box at that bait Nike. They had to. Bait always e- puts a special. E.T. phone on. home. I mean, <laughs> whatever it was. The box is already kind of special. It's, you know. It's, yeah, the box is dope, actually. Yeah. It's a Jordan 1 box, really, yeah. with the, like, top that pops off. Yep. And, but it says Stranger Things. It's dope. Okay. Now, do either one of you watch the show? No, yeah, I've watched it. it all. I okay. I just started it this week. The, wait, season one? Other season fires, one. Okay. Other fire shows on TV. Season one. The show is fire. Yeah. Where have you been? <laughs> I, I, I finally shout out the high tapes. Like, I, everybody's been telling me to start it. I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not big on kids and weird stuff because I didn't care for Goonies. I thought it was like a weird Goonies. Oh, you smoking them. It was all right, all right? But the show is so well written, it can easily go stupid and easily go fire. Like, it's such a great show. Like, it's sci-fi-ish with kids. Like, I'm talking the writing and the acting. The kids might be some of the best actors I've ever seen as kids, period. I don't care Anybody says these kids make me believe it. It makes you feel like when you were a kid playing outside, the way they get on their bikes, the way they talk to each other. Like two of them got into a little scuffle, and like one of them got super mad and like left. Like I remember being that kid before. You know, when you get so mad, you kind of got dusted up, but you just like get it off me. You just go home. Like it was such a good scene. I'm telling you, watch it. I'm on episode. I don't got enough time for eight it. or seven. I watched all the good shows, so I'm I'm good. No, you. Haven't. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, I have. It's worth watching. You it. even watch all the. Yeah, I have. And there's I'm only a, like eight episodes a season or something. Or love it. I'm on like seven. You watch that new show eight. on Showtime, the one from Boston? Uh, not yet. Yep, exactly. But I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. In the city or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it's, it's called. called. You know it's on the hill, in the hill, something, something like with that. the city. City on Speaking the hill, maybe. Did, did you guys see Good Boys? No, that's what I was going to ask him about because he's talking about little kids riding around and stuff. That's That's the movie where the tagline is they're too young to watch the movie. Oh, no, I thought about it. You stay at the movies. I thought about me? It was hilarious. I got way too many kids to go to the movies, so you ain't never see me at the movies. Go to the movies because of the kids. What are you talking about? I went. You said you've seen, what's, I was going to say Braveheart. What's that movie called? Endgame. Three times. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, I did. That's for different. Three days. That's a, that's a, a historical event. Like, that's like, let's yeah, not. It's nothing to do with history. <laughs> it's the wrong word. word. Based that's off the wrong events. word. It's the, most, the movie that made the most money in history? Oh, it's a historical event. The most movie that. But. Ba- based off true events. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> based off just true story. <laughs> um, no, but anything go- has to do with the future. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fam, the, look, either way, I was going to see that, but I want to see it by myself. I Good feel like you guys see it with the homies or like your girlfriend or wife or something yeah, like that. you should that. go with Rocio. She probably won't understand any humor. She'll hate it. <laughs> it's, it's just like Stranger Things. The acting is so good. And really? Yeah, it, see that. I, I'd see it and again. It's like probably it's probably hilarious. It's too. hilarious. It's like super bad, but just yeah, the kids are younger. Kids, yeah. I was gonna slap I think you it's half to... the... <laughs> <laughs> She hate when people make fun of her humor. Uh, no. <laughs> she right. knows her humor is whack. I didn't make fun of her humor. I said she don't laugh at what we laugh at. There's right. a difference. If you don't laugh at what we laugh at, your humor is whack to me. All right. Uh, well, I didn't say that. You did. So, Rocio, he said that. Oh, my her like brother and all them. Oh, man, they'd be like. <laughs> they get on her about her humor. I'll be like, I'll be feeling a little bad, but I agree with them. Um, that's messed up. Man. What comes out this week? Oh, that's a good question. I thought you guys were still uh, doing ones, pickups. 
The, oh, UNC won. Did y'all get early access? No. Okay, I didn't either. I, I was going to sell them anyways. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm done with – I think I'm officially done with highs. Like, I think I have to know. I wouldn't want those, like, to keep. Oh, you don't like them, really? Eh, I just – I don't wear a lot of blue, and oh. I don't know. But the, I, I read they're going to sell – like, the size 8s are selling for, like, 4 something right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to go for those. Yeah. You got to go for If for this that. shoe was not a Shox, if nice. it was an Air Max or something, this would be fire. What's it called? An Edgeman? In game, I can't even see Enigma. it. Enigma, Enigma, that show. I mean, that shoe is fire. I like it. I don't like shocks though. Shocks are yeah, very shocks uncomfortable. Are trash. Right. And only women's. Why are they? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, that should be like but a Vapor Max or something. If this yeah. was me, simple sent that text in the thread where he was like, Vapor Max. What do you say? Driving in Vapor Max? Something? Doing anything in Vapor Max besides just walking on flat pavement oh, yeah. is weird. I think I don't know. Me and Andy were talking about it. Whoever talk, I was talking about it with somebody. That's why you go to Nike now. Vapor Max is only in the lifestyle section. It's no longer any pairs in the runners, in the yeah, training. It should be nothing. for running on flat ground. It should be. No, they thought it was. But then when people started running at it and getting hurt, it was like, oh, yeah, no. You cannot do anything athletic except power walk. And I mean, that's I even feel risky. like you could run on turf because it it's cleats. But so. No, no, no. You would twist. Well, you, if you just run it straight, you can't come back. You can't cut. You can't shoot. <laughs> you can't do I nothing. That, and Ultra Boost, too. Um what, what, not not regular OG Ultra Boost, but like Ultra Boost don't get the pieces nah. on the Ultra Boost don't get stuck between like your pedal or like <laughs> no no, no. The, like things you put your feet on. What's like, the when you ride the bike at the gym? Like nah, what's the joints that like I said were underrated, uncaged, uncaged Ultra Boost? Oh, you don't even try to. Oh cut yeah, left. you can't do nothing. Yeah, Bruh. it was lit. I, I was chasing. I wore those to play basketball mm. like two three years ago and never again. Nah, like, All right. listen, fam, I almost broke my leg. All right, not just my ankle. All, <laughs> all right, right. Uh, Biotech uh, Sun Starburst Pack. Came out today. I don't know what that was all nah, about. Those Whatever. Oh, those ninety sevens uh, are okay. And then Daybreak Pack came out. I uh, don't understand what that's all about. I don't know why they were on sneakers. Like people were gonna. Those are cool. Fight in line. Okay, they don't need to be on sneakers. All right. Not a dope. That the one, the one, the light blue one with the gold swoosh is pretty fire. Yeah, I thought the pink one was okay. I don't know. I'm not saying they're bad. Oh. They don't need to be on sneakers. How much they are don't they? need like to be one sixty or whatever. That's Ooh, a problem. They need to be like eighty. Yeah, and that's even rough. <laughs> Biotech, Biotech 2.0 comes out. Fire. Are you going to buy those? No. I got the first one. First one's better. Ooh. First one's better. Although when I saw that person you wearing it, them joints was clean. First one's better. I don't. I just can't wear OG Influence. Uh, influenced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did look at them. I did look them up. Influenced. Uh, Ma Maharishi Air Max 90 comes out. What the heck is that? I mean, it's all right, but that's something you find on the wall with outlet. No, it's not. That's what it that's, looks like to me. Well, I know it's something special, but it doesn't look yes. like much. I mean, it was it's dyed by. Okay, I don't know what the exact story is, but um, like some Japanese stuff. They use they did some like it's not painted like the like or what or however you would expect a regular shoe. It's not. It was like dyed with like you got to read about it. It was dyed oh, with like all that. crazy something. Um, what else here? You already said ones. Um, Those stupid 500s coming out. Right? There's a New Balance. Which there's a New Balance collab, 997 like the, collab coming out. They're like the gray and orange ones. Camo 10s come out. You copy in, obviously. Oh, well, Camo 10s real quick. Camo 10s suck, but they used the correct materials making those. The canvas as the camo, that's kind of tight. And they're selling for really high. Uh, I guarantee no, if no, that had like what? undefeated or supreme on it. Oh yeah, that joint had the 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 strikes, the undefeated logo on the back, off the shelves, camped around the building. Yeah, because it's a collab. That's the only thing people care about these days. Um, Ultra Boost 1.0 Washington Huskies. Okay, those joints are unreal fire. <laughs> yeah, they might already Crown be Royal in collab. the top ten. All right, those are pretty fire. Stop. Them not in the top ten ultra boost of all Number time. Number one, you the person who yells about putting stuff in the top ten after it's been out for like a year, let alone not even out yet. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to stop. Okay, there are certain shoes that we that we can okay that for. Union ones are definitely in the top ten joint ones of all time. Facts. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, they are. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. You can't just say it blatantly like that. It's you been can a say it lot blatantly. of ones. A lot of okay. Fine. A lot of Ultra Boosts. What are you talking about? So you wouldn't say that these are in the top 10 Ultra Boosts of all time. I don't know. If I they look as go back and look. Uh, listen, ask me, are they fire? Yes. Ask me if they're top 10. I have no idea. I got to go back and do a list. I don't even wear. You want to talk about a list we haven't done? There you go. Of what? Ultra Boosts? Yeah, we did. 
<laughs> we did that. No, one. we didn't. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Actually, I can't remember. I feel like we did. Exactly. Those husky. I can't wear other college stuff, but but they're. I don't. I can't either. I would never wear any other college colors and stuff besides my own college. I gave money to and. My blood, sweat, and tears, too. Uh, <laughs> I left it all on the field, Joy. Those gridiron. Yes. I would only wear ASU you colors. Did. But those? Oh, I'm, I'm wearing them. I don't care. What, I, I, look, I'm almost 40 now. All right? I don't care. Uh, <laughs> ASU, ASU ain't sent me oh, nothing. Who you copping, huh? Only thing ASU sends me now is if I want to make a donation. I don't want to yeah, be a booster. You're right. And they use the same thing. I'm like, nope. Uh... Arizona Times whatever pack is coming out and everything slides uh, slides are kind of fire for girls uh, uh, whatever these whatever other shoes are called there's Volks, a few of them. whatever these other shoes are that's Too not expensive. for me Alpha Dunks come out that basketball shoe those are fire that's a good looking basketball shoe I don't shoe. know what that is there's some new NMDs coming out I've never even seen these before them purple ones purple and that one yeah the women's though the notes are clean yeah but I've never seen it before Copper Hannah. Um, I think that might be it. Anyone get that shock drop? What shock drop? Oh, those blazers. I cop two. Huh? The blazers. The cactus flower. The cactus oh, flower. Cactus yeah, make yeah, yeah. Already, you know, yesterday or whatever. Already restocked today or whatever. Still available. So. Oh, really? I uh, copped it. I checked today. It joined it so fast. Oh, so you had made one and bought it? I didn't make it. I just because I assumed it was gonna be like that Kobe thing where you like check out as quickly as possible and it'll resell uh. later. <laughs> and a cactus plant, whatever, Vapor Max. Wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about the Blazers? Yeah, but the Vapor Max oh. went from like our thousand dollar shoe or whatever. So yeah. I was, so I was oh. like, all right, everybody yeah. loves Blazers right now. I might as well just cop. I didn't spend any time editing anything. I just canceled that joint immediately. You know what's whack is that like. Everybody's like in blazers, but a mid blazer, not even a mid, it's almost a low, like, it is furry. I like They're still it. there. They don't. Yeah, it wouldn't show up today. Yeah. I, I tried. Oh, it, yeah. Somebody tweeted it t- uh, this morning or this afternoon. Yeah, I still clicked there. it and they wouldn't let me do anything. Um, Some of the links, if you click it from like that, it won't go to it. But if you click it from someone's tweet, it'll oh, go okay. to it. I, I thought they were cool. I tried to make a pair, but I didn't like the way they looked. Like, I couldn't get my colors right. It didn't look right. I want it like that. I want it in the box, and I could just put my swooshes on and put yeah, my pieces that's on. Yeah, it doesn't come. You have to make it however you want. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're cool. The, everybody I texted a message were like, I'm trying not to buy them. And I was like, yeah, me too. I'm trying not to buy a pair. To buy what? Blazers? The blazer joints. What are you talking about? Mm. The, okay, stop it. Now, you said try not to buy, like, those Washington joints or something? All right. Fine. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a pair, like, I, I, we'll see, I gotta, I gotta get these. Unless they're selling for, like, 500 Then I gotta sell those. But, like... Do you think that will be, like, the Miami and ASU joints eventually? I don't know. You, you have to be have you, members access to the Adidas app you to get them. Packer joints. Packer... Oh, no, no, no. They, they're, they're, trust me. You see me be like... Ugh. Like, they should have blended it or something. Like, just splitting it. Eh. And plus, they're not going for too high if I, like, you know, decide to go back and get them one day. But I doubt it. I'm definitely trying to cop Huskies. Um, I think that might be it. Uh, shout out to uh, Heat of Soul Summit. Andy and I went this weekend. Woo! Tell George the results of the three-point contest, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that uh, Greg is no longer allowed to talk about challenging P.J. Tucker to a three-point <laughs> contest. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. First of all, shout out to Hito So Summit. This was in the what's that place called? The facility? Yeah, that place is fire. <laughs> Yo, and you oh, told me yeah. about my house. No, I didn't. I asked you. I said, "Where's that place?" That you said it's around no, your you neck said, of the woods. No, I didn't. You said it was something Cotton Lane. I said by the street. You said I. I said, it was, oh, it's what street did you say it was on? It's Cotton Gin. Loop. Cotton Gin something. Yeah, that's a 303, isn't it? No. That's Cotton Lane. <laughs> it's right in the 10 Pete 40th yeah. Street and, and Broadway. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. Well, I that's was like, easy mistake. Yeah. I was like, yo, thank God. I was like, yo, Andy got to drive out here. I looked up on that Google Maps. <laughs> I was like, I hate it. I got to call. All right. <laughs> but that's, that's where all the like top high school a they have that's where they have AEU events and like Bruh. kids work out and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen a nicer like ground court. like court. <laughs> like yeah. talking about the court that's black, right? It's yeah. like black. Well, there's two. The other side is black, and the side we were on was red. Or was it was it black and red. Yeah, something like that. Like the shine. The place is is great. Like it's yeah. a great place. And uh, like I said, here's what someone had a sneaker event. I mean, that was a great idea to do the basketball game. It was. And, like, there was other stuff going on. You could just chill and watch. And, <laughs> yeah, and it was instead, free. Instead of just walking around for, like, 10 minutes and then leaving, like, yeah, you could sit and watch some basketball. The sneaker stuff was in, a, in like, the other side of the gym. It was really small. Like, yeah. it was, like. Two basketball courts. Yep, you walk around and you're done. Um, 
I didn't even walk around really. I, yeah, I Andy came. Once. Andy <laughs> came, did his thing, and left. Now I'm gonna talk about the. Like, you know, we'll talk about the three point contest first. Let me let me explain something to you, George. All right. There's a few things that I did accomplish this weekend. All right. I got over some anxieties. I did. Mm, boy, bro, wait, I haven't been to a sneaker event or nothing in a very long time. Okay. I, like so, like I realized I just don't feel comfortable at these places. Now speaking basketball wise. I do worry about my hand. I do worry about getting hurt. I'm very paranoid about it. So, like, it being semi, like, a, a small group of people watching us and, like, a large group, even though I was trapped, George, it was 16 shots. I made one. I airballed about 10. <laughs> he made the first one. I, I made the miss. first one. No. <laughs> oh, no, it was absolute worst. <laughs> Probably was talking crazy after the first one went in, too. Nah, I didn't. I told him at the beginning, I said, yo, yeah, might see a first zero. Now, look, I was joking because I thought I was about to be warm fired. up first? Yeah. Or? Yeah, we did. No, okay. I was way too focused on the arc. Like, it was, like, it falling way too short. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And, like, it's real different. Like, it's different because, like, I was awful, but Did I didn't care. Did they have, like, contests with other people or something? Uh, That was just a three-point one, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Like, contest. you two were the only people they allowed us to play the contest? Oh, oh no, no. There's, like, 15. There's about 15 oh. of us. Oh, all right. And uh, I got dead last. I did the worst, like, out of everybody. Oh, like, so you guys were in competition with every other yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it was dope. It was fun. Now, this is the thing that, like, I felt good about personally for myself. I did so bad, but I didn't care. I had a blast, like, just chilling with Andy. Like, he shot. Andy did good. I won't speak for him, but he did really good. And advanced, like, what, one or two rounds? Yeah, and then I got cheated. because yeah, He got cheated. They huh? didn't count my points. They right. didn't count one of his points, and then he ended up getting eliminated. He had to do, like, a one-shot. Yeah, like, like tiebreaker. It sucked. He got cheated at that. But... I was still having a blast. <laughs> like I, I shot in a, a crew neck sweater and a hat. Like I was sweating, but I felt comfortable in it. Either way, I have fun. It made me go play. I'm gonna play basketball on Monday. Like my body is killing me now. But like it made me feel like I'm about to go play basketball again. Like it was good. It was dope seeing Andy shoot. His wife came out there. Shout out to his wife. Like it was a a dope fun event. I had a good time. Now, and the Andy thing about destroyed it, me. The thing about it is. <laughs> So we were watching the games before. It was like the finals or something. And these cats what were, games are going on. They had a five on five tournament too, with all like like Forever on Top had a team. He had Soul had a team. Some barbershop had yeah. a team. Uh, they sponsored teams. They were sponsored teams, but they, they, these cats could ball. I They're mean, they were good. dunking. They're throwing yeah, alley oops some and of them stuff. Are a lot yeah, better. Yeah, Johnny than Gonzalez can play. I assume some of the people are at least the same level he's on. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, Definitely some of them were younger, so. You know, we're sitting there like, damn, I don't want all these people to play in the contest. And then, like, me and Greg. But you see everyone line up, and it was, like, one ca- one little kid that was, like, 12. Yeah. Some some Mexican dude that was, like, wearing jean shorts. I got and- mopped up by cats in jean shorts. <laughs> I got mopped. <laughs> and this girl. Uh, this- what, what was the three-point line? NBA? No, right, uh, high school. Okay. Now, according to – this is what was funny about yeah. this, right? So, there was this other cat that got up there, and he shot an air ball. Cash was giving him a hard time. I shot like the first air ball. Like I shot, I made the first one. Then the first hit the rim. No, that first rack, I think I hit the rim all of them. Then the next one, I airballed every single one. All right. So the first air ball, somebody was like, ah. Oh. Then I airballed it again, and I heard somebody go like, ah. Oh. Airballed it again. No one said a thing. I airballed so many. No one said anything. I don't know if it's this new generation of like young person or basketball. Nobody gave me a hard time. Like I felt weird that nobody was laughing at me or making fun of me because I bro, I airballed 10 out of 16. Like I almost airballed every single shot, okay? <laughs> That's how short it fell. But like these cats, I come to the sideline. So it was it was high school line. I come to the sideline. Some cat was like, fam, you were shooting at the NBA line. You was way too far. Like they were making excuses for me. And I was like, yo, what's up with this? Like I, I was like, yo, they about to start clowning me. Nah, everybody was like, yo, it's all, it's all good, bro. You know, things happen. I was like, okay. Like, you know why? Because everyone was I, when I was watching the people before me, I was like, all right, miss, miss, miss. Because they want to advance. So it's like, it's less pressure if like, because that one cat went up like second, made like a ton. Which one? The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That had the like a uh, heated soul t-shirt yeah. on, the, the slim guy. Yeah, 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 he was, he was. He did and then good. that girl. Oh, my gosh. George. She was. She mopped us all up. She mopped it. She got second. She got to the championship round. She was this tall. <laughs> the men's ball? Yeah. Yeah. She was this tall. She was she, throwing it like a soccer throw-in. Like, like, just dead, r- boom, 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 boom. Was this not timed? It was timed. It was 60 time. seconds. Bruh. I'm not even joking. This girl. How old? I don't even know. I don't know. She could have been. Doesn't matter. She could have been. <laughs> she she could have been, been 16 like or 25. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bruh. Like this. The basketball. Just. 
off one leg too. Like if she would have threw it too bad for her, would have a backflip. That's how far back she was bending. Like this, got to the championship round right against this one dude, and he the, this guy won it. She she had no she, more at the she end. Got gassed, she was yeah. gassed at the end. She made five at the end that last round at a sixteen, and he, he easily won that. But a shout out to him. I I, I follow him on Instagram, but uh, he could shoot. Like he yeah. was a cool cat. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Dude, I, had I had a, a good time. I had a good. And I would do it again in a second. And I'm gonna go back to more. I gotta go back to more sneaker events. So you gotta come out too. We gotta get back out there, v. What? Because we don't do nothing. Do you know we don't do a single thing? Like if it's something local sneaker wise, we don't go anywhere. Though. We live on the internet and at the house. Uh. What is that noise? What noise? Oh, it's something like gunshots oh. outside. Oh, <laughs> chill. Fam, where that bug go? Oh shit, Bruh, Where did that thing go? It's gone. Oh god. Bro, what's my backpack? I don't play like that. <laughs> it's gonna crawl in he there. Shook. <laughs> he shook. Bro, you know like we used to live in apartments, so we had roaches when I was grew up. Uh, roach get in your backpack, you take it to school, open your back, <laughs> you open your backpack, you get your homework out, and a roach fly out. You know how embarrassing that is? That's when you get clowned. <laughs> That's when you get clowned. It's the, that is the 80s, all right? That's 87 bagging. You go outside like this, and a roach leave, and go to the chalkboard, <laughs> and everybody, yo, Greg, got roaches at the house. That's embarrassing. Uh, but shout out to the event. Man, going to the event, I missed out on... I see, Andy goes to, like, Ferrero on top stuff sometimes. He, got stuff he, has, to his own, he has his own business. But I saw, like, so many things we haven't seen in person. At least I haven't. I never saw Travis Scott's in person. Finally saw them in person. Fire. They're absolutely fire in quality, just like everyone says. Saw the blue Air Force... One off whites in person. They're not as vibrant as the internet made them look, but them joints are cool in person. Kobe undefeated pack. All right. The, the teal and the orange. Fire. Oh, they suck. No, 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 no. Oh, they suck. You see them in person? No. No, see those in person, though. No. I, I thought so too. Everybody there was like, fam. I thought the same thing. The green, whack. The purple, eh. That orange one and that teal one. If if they were retail, I wish I would I would I would have had those like for retail. That's how fire those ones are. Those are worth retail. The other colors they've come out with nonsense. Nah, them joints super fire. Am I copying? No, but them joints are clean. Everybody there that saw those Kobe's was like, we all thought these sucked when you saw them on suck. the internet. Nah, they don't. They Trust. I would say that you know how I felt about them. No, nah, them joints don't suck. Saw what's the red one called? The model is fire. Those suck. What's the red one that came out with the Jordan ones that was like okra blue moon. Green and then the red oh, one. Oh, like the pastel ones? Yeah, they were like yeah. suede, whatever those were. I saw that. The clay Jordans? Pack or yeah, the clay oh, pack. Entire pack yeah, you drafted one. during the draft? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the red ones in person. Fire. Never seen them before in person before. The off white little spiky thing cleat. Those joints are fire too. It's oh, let's so. See Grace. You know, them joints, there's so much fire out there. I've never seen them in person. Huh? We got to get out more, George. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. You would enjoy it. You huh? see Cat with yeah, a okay. satin one stacked to the ceiling? Oh my goodness! Somebody I had tried to cop a smaller size in these Kobe undefeated packs, man. Some of these joints are like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. So what? Some of those. Yeah, the somebody there had satin ones, literally almost stacked to the roof, like this, like stacked all the way on against the wall, like high. I mean, he paid resale for them. He didn't get them off of retail. I don't know, right, but I don't know. I'm guaranteed. So those in person, those are very nice in person too. I had them, but I didn't open the box. I just threw them right in the UPS truck. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, back in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me go print my, let me print my label off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Print my label off through the truck. You better be careful that, fam. They're going to sell them right out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to yeah. ask UPS to print a label for you out of the kindness of their heart. They say $3, please. Facts! Dude, Rocio refuses to go buy printer ink. So every time I got to go in, I got to use that stupid computer and swipe my card. You know, it's like a minimum charge of $1.99, and then I'm on there for about 47 seconds. It's like $3. That's huh? so a wrap for you. Know? Hate can't, it. Can't use huh? the work computer? <laughs> I, I keep forgetting. That's, you know, I keep leaving work like that. I know I did not leave work without printing this label off. No. Anyways, Joe, we got to get back out there. No. It was good. Anytime there's a sneaker event in Arizona, I'm going. I need to get back out there. No. I'm good. All right, you'll come with me. Simple is out there coughing. Oh, yeah, he was out there. He was in there with oh, Doing what? He was with. Mm, he was with somebody. No. Mm. I was about to say something, but you know what? <laughs> completely unrelated to simple, but I'm not gonna say it, and that's why you shaking. If your I head. even remotely think I know what it is, <laughs> so that's why you shaking your head because I was about to say something crazy. Don't even. Uh, so <laughs> I'll fill you in later, Andy. <laughs> Andy's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I did trash. Andy did good. What did you get to? Second round? Third round? Yeah, something like that. It was nice fun. Little hand They're good. Yeah, nice form. So you posted your, your form video online. I'm like, God, get over yourself. <laughs> hey, I, I play a lot of basketball. I never get to see myself play, though. That dude was put it in that super slow motion yeah, on the app. It was like, it's dude, him and Rudo. Took forever to shoot that shot. I was like, all right, I was there. All right, let me just swipe <laughs> through this. Oh, Daybreak. <laughs> Daybreak undercovers, too, with the little mouth shark thing on the back. The dude that won shot in those. Just a clean in person. Yeah, I've seen like, in person. I told you. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't. So, what'd you see, man? People wearing them. Oh, really? What did you be at to see people wear stuff? Bro, what are you talking about? Bro, you you go to bars and stuff. Like, well, there's your answer. Oh, I didn't know anybody goes I to mean, your bars. Yeah, around cool. humanity, huh? It was funny <laughs> I when you, you. When you, me, Hannah, and Rosie went to dinner. <laughs> we didn't even say nothing about that dude that walked by wearing Travis Scott's. That dude, oh, the super tall dude wearing Travis Scott highs. Anyways, I didn't see anyone. Um, what else? Was there anything else sneaker related to talk about? Uh yeah, the only thing you talked about so far is <laughs> SneakerCon or whatever oh, it's called. I was mean, it SneakerCon or was it? Oh no, was he just sold summit. So shout out to them. Shout out to Guestless too. Yeah, I hope they do that again there. Yeah, like, I hope they go back there again. Like it was cool. Like, so I was talking to J- my homie Jason. We were talking about like, we'll get a team next time. We'll go play. Like, yeah, that was tight. Yeah, that was fun. I'll be back in form by then. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be back, George. Not I, sir. All right, you'll be there. I'll put you in the car, but yo, we're going to in and out. You'd be like, what? Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, let's well, do it. I my ate meat was two weeks ago. No? Dang, you plant-based now? <laughs> right. Everybody go on plant-based. Is, is that Impossible Whopper? You get one of those? Uh, I've had hey, what is that? Impossible. Uh, What's it supposed to be? Beans? Like black beans or something? Mm, it's a bunch of stuff. Uh, Mix it and make a patty. So it's a hot dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had Impossible. Uh, what's, the, what's the slider place? They don't have them in there. I mean, there might be one White in Castle? Arizona. Yeah, White Castle. They got an Impossible Burger, so it's not meat, I was right? Shocked. No. Oh, they said uh, KFC is doing that now too. Doing KFC impossible is chicken. trying it at like their one chicken's location. already impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yeah, had 20, any twenty-seven herbs and spices. That's the thing. Out. That's the thing about the the Popeye chicken sandwich. I haven't had, believe it or not, you know, you all you might as well talk about it. <laughs> I haven't had fried. I couldn't even tell you the last time. No, a chicken nugget here and there, some tenders at a restaurant or something. But I haven't had like actual fried chicken. From a Popeye's chicken fried chicken. Oh, you talking about like the chicken yeah. fries? Ch- yeah, churches or churches, about, nothing like that. I don't ever get that either. I mean, like I've n- I not did, even at a I restaurant. did in San Diego. That place I was sending you pictures from, where they had like NWA on the ceiling and whatever. That that chicken. You want to talk about? Fire. Yeah, but yeah, like chicken and waffles or something. I think the place was trying to kind of. I mean, they had chicken and waffles on the menu, but it wasn't like Roscoe's. It was like a southern. Mm. I don't know what you want to call it. It was like a, a fried chicken place. But it was a restaurant, like a yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like a hipster thing. It was like, right. I mean, you wouldn't have all them pictures on the wall if you weren't trying to be like kind of a hipster restaurant. I haven't even had any at like a nice restaurant. Like, I have no that desire to was eat that. Fire. But the only chicken I eat is you wings. got no desire to like, eat fried chicken. Yeah, Man, wings, what? wings, wings, yeah, wings. I hot wings. Like, I just don't. I never think like, oh, let's go get some churches or something. Like, let's get a bucket. Um, yeah. yeah, never. <laughs> Are you Chick Fil A? You go to Chick Fil A all the time, don't you? No, it's too expensive. Too expensive. You go to Chipotle. It's the same thing. No, Chipotle. At least you. I mean, you get two meals out of that. No. Chipotle for me, the kids and the wife about twenty seven dollars. Uh, um, what you would call it? What's the joint? I got a lot of kids. You see his chicken head? Like yo, twenty seven dollars at Chipotle for four people? It, no, it's I got my Cortez. He eats his own bowl now. Rocio, yes. Oscar's twenty. He eats double meat, everything. All yeah. right. So it's probably and more than twenty seven dollars. It's a it's a lot. It's a, about twenty seven. Every time it's about twenty seven, twenty six bucks. Chick fil A. All of us go Chick fil A. That's about forty four dollars. So no joke. Uh, Chick fil A is expensive, and after you eat it, I'm still hungry. All right. So, I agree with that. Chick fil A is too expensive. I've never still go there. fried chicken, and never. you still eat it. Uh, I, I can't tell you last time I had that. I ate the nuggets. I said I eat some nuggets and stuff, but I mean like a piece of chicken, like a breast or like yeah. a, a thigh or something. Like, I mean, I don't know that many people that's really going to like. I mean, I used to go to Popeyes. I didn't get that. I got like chicken tenders or, or whatever they oh. had. I don't like dealing with bones and all that when I just want to eat a quick meal. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. I'm not trying to fool with it. Now, if I go to that oh. place, <laughs> all right, that got nothing to do with pause. <laughs> I said bones, not bone earth. <laughs> Now that place in San Diego that's like known for chicken. Oh, we went to one in uh, Cincinnati too. Way. We went to one in Cincinnati too with Hannah's cousin. Fire! One of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had in my entire life. 
I could tell you the top five chicken sandwiches off the top of my head, and it's not Popeye's <laughs> or Chick Fil A. It's all restaurant quality. Have you had a Popeye's chicken sandwich? Yet? No, I refuse. Have you had? I'm already. I told oh, you, yeah. I'm already protesting Popeye's anyway. Popeye's in my life. Popeyes. <laughs> what? Popeye's is fire. Bro. I don't go to I uh, those to. places. Like, yeah, I, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean, Andy? <laughs> Nothing. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> we used to eat Popeyes every Saturday after with the Arizona Mills before he wants to go party. Like, Popeyes is fire. The fries are fire. We got KFC people like to up. make people yeah, like to make too. fun of the biscuits because the biscuits are undeniably hard, but the flavor so is though. fire. <laughs> I'm like you. I don't want to deal with the whole like, you know, Bruh, get tenders. All right, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I I love the play. I got love chickens, but I just. Don't they have got the, the desire. They got the for best stuff fries like of all the chicken places. I mean, I guess you could say like we did the fry argument at that one show. If you just have regular salted fries, McDonald's, McDonald's. is obviously number one. Mm-hmm. Number two is probably Chick Fil A. But when it comes to seasoned fries, uh, Arby's, Rallies, Rallies, Rallies is number one. But Arby's, Rallies, Popeyes. and then um, Carl's Junior Popeyes and Carl's Junior Chris Cut fries. Uh, the problem with ch- ch- uh, Chick Fil A fries, they too big. Like they put them in that box. You like, get four. You get a box. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You eat all four. You be like, what the deal is this? I be heated. Bro, I seen a thing on a video the other day. Well, change your mind. You look at the fries. All the lines in there is one fry each. <laughs> that's a fry. That's a fry. That's a fry. You turn sideways. <laughs> that's a fry. That's a fry. That's a fry. You gotta think about it like that. Huh? I can't. Well, I, I bend them joints. <laughs> I bend them to dip them in the sauce. Yeah, so do I. I need I can get more than four. When I go there, I gotta you got you gotta get a chicken sandwich and tenders and two fries. So that's how you gotta eat your filet. <laughs> that's the only you place. Twenty three dollars. The, the only, only place, place I, I get can eat that much. The only place I get two fries from, and it's gonna you guys are gonna sound think it's ridiculous is un, is uh In and Out. That's it. Wait, what? It's exactly. Wait, what do you say? That's the only place you'll go get fries from? No, no, no. Uh, two fries. If I order, the only place I'll get oh, no, two I, fries yeah, In and Out because they They're give small. you they give you nothing but pieces. Uh, I can't. I like. I've grown to love their fries, but they give you like you got to pour them in your mouth. That's how the fries be at In and Out. Yeah, they don't. You don't. I haven't had an entire wow. French fry. I haven't had an entire French fry from In and Out in a long time. Like where it was like a fry. I haven't had a long time. <laughs> it was like you got to eat them like this. They like literally that. sliced the potatoes right in front of you. What yeah, are you talking about? but they deep fry them for so long they break in half and, stuff. <laughs> right. and then they scrape them. When they scoop them out that thing, they get all that stuff on the bottom. It's like peace fish and the chips biggest too. problem with In and Out fries is they get cold too fast. Extremely fast. You gotta eat them right yes, away. Yes, that's true. I think they microwave them. I don't think they fry. They do uh, some right. weird, man. like bake them. <laughs> um, I don't got nothing else sneaker related. I forgot. <laughs> There's nothing oh, else. It's been a that. slow week. Uh, well, are we talk talking? About, are we talking about Popeyes? Do we do true? Oh yeah. Right so well, so do we do two? I mean, before you, George goes off on his rant. <laughs> I don't. Oh, you got you got football stuff you got uh, yeah. sports stuff i don't have a and those for listening to podcast look there's gonna be some sports talking this is a sneaker sport podcast. let me tell you this is my favorite time of the year it's not podcast. a sneakers only podcast it's and we not. never told anyone it was a sneakers only podcast i mean it's, it's technically a sneakers podcast but it's not a sneakers only podcast it's not but a sports are only podcast yeah, sports are related. that's why we have sneakers look, it's because of sports look guys we're gonna do top 10 kobe's at the end but there's gonna be some sport like relax all right these cats want to be like somebody was like yo do y'all we're ever- not n- n- uh, uh you know, I was gonna say something else crazy, and I'm not going to. We're not nerd soul podcast or whatever soul podcast or shoe pot. No, this is discussion podcast where we talk about everything. <laughs> okay, this is still a sneaker now, podcast. Now, it's the main focus, but we, we discuss everything. We don't. Bro, I don't want to sit here for two hours and talk about shoes. I'm oh, I sorry. Do. No, you don't. Oh, I do. No, you. Don't. I love sneakers though. Yeah, so do I. You don't want to sit here and talk about them. No, you don't. Somebody was like, yo, do y'all post anything? I know y'all sneaker podcast, but do y'all post anything else on the IG? And I'm like, I mean, some, like, I don't know what else to post on the sneaker podcast page. And I went to his page, the most sneakers I've ever seen in my entire life on his page. I'm like, fam, what are you talking about? This is right up your alley. Like, leave me alone. Like, what the, else do they want in your post? They, like, cats were like, yo, y'all talk about movies for 25 minutes. That one. I'm like, huh. I mean, we went to the movies. Like, what do you want me to do? But this stuff is all related. Like, you talk about Stranger Things. They're doing Stranger Things pack. They do yes. a Marvel pack. They are doing this. Like, it's I all. I related. honestly don't care. If well, I know, say but that. I'm saying, but it's all related well, to all those care. people. I don't care at all, especially because it's free. All right, you know, don't. It's a free show. The content is entertaining. If yeah. you want to listen to nerds only, you can go listen to Nerd Podcast. Uh, for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Nerdpodcast.com. <laughs> um. The chicken sandwich. Like I said, I don't have a desire to go taste it. Today I do. Well, Today too, I feel too like bad. it's all gone now. It's sold out. It, it, it can't get it anyways. Rocio got one, and she didn't even say anything about it. I think she was. 
I don't think they're all sold out everywhere. I saw places that still had them. It's just like oh. corporate, they're sold. They're not restocking. <laughs> <laughs> They're not restocking. <laughs> restocking chicken. They like said they had seven. The plan was for that stuff to last seven weeks or whatever, and it sold out in two. Everybody should be fired. Huh? Period. Fired. Everybody should get promotion. Fired. Stock options. Huh? Fired. fired. They said they made what six million dollars. Okay, so people. In, so all right, then fine. People in charge of uh, social media or advertising promotion. People in charge of logistics. They didn't fired. do nothing. Someone did. We everybody else did it. Their social media didn't do anything. They didn't have to. That guy yes, had put. They did. They argued with Wendy's and Chick Fil A. Yeah. That's what started it. Okay. They argued with Chick Fil A once it was cool. No. Was, once companies start having that like cool ha ha. Yes. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitter, which started probably like two years ago ish. That's when people yeah. started noticing. But the things, argument you know? between all of them about the chicken sandwiches didn't start because until everybody else lost their mind on social media about the chicken sandwiches. Then Wendy's and all of them jumped in like, fam, our chicken. What did they start talking junk? Then Popeye started talking junk back. Dude. Whoever that was that put that post that said the marketing for this based on social media of everybody done is equivalent to about twenty six million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like that's insane. We're doing all the work for him. Dude, I mean, why don't y'all post Nick this podcast like that? Huh? Like, <laughs> I mean, they do. It's just <laughs> what? fam. What? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if if right now. If I didn't think it would be a long line or if there's one right there, I would go get one now because I do have a taste for a chicken sandwich. All right. But when I see stuff like this on social media and stuff like that, it gives me no desire to, like, go get it. Yeah, I'm it, the same way. Yeah. It doesn't make me like, yo, everybody talking about it. Let's go get it. Like, it just, I'm not waiting in line for no. a half hour for a chicken sandwich. I wouldn't have done it anyway. I didn't do it anyways. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it anyways. But that makes me want to do it less. Yeah, You're exactly. saying it doesn't make you want to do it? It makes me want to do yeah, it less. Exactly. I don't want to do it at all. Bruh, someone ran into the Popeyes on 32nd and Camelback. Uh, that happened or to Indian school. you Popeyes. They someone ran drove a car. into the thing on accident when they thought they were in reverse. And they hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa did that. We took his keys from him. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Fam, look. Uh, all right, hey, hold on. Speaking, any, speaking of that, I got a true crime. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me do my rant first, and then you could do that. Okay. <laughs> anyone on social media, anyone in my neighborhood, I see slinging chicken fillet. I was gonna say chick fil A. What are they? What is it? Popeyes, Popeyes chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwich. I'm kicking your table over and stomping on every single chicken sandwich that you have. I swear <laughs> to God. Quavo posted that video today. I want to fly to Atlanta and punch Quavo in the face myself. What did he do? He opened the trunk and was and it was a bag full of chick fil A. I keep saying chick fil A. A bag full of Popeyes. <laughs> And he was like, these birds are a thousand apiece. Now, it was funny how he did it because he was like, these birds. And people started laughing. But I'll, no joke, on his Instagram post, I said, That's shut corny. the F up. I said, shut the fuck up on his Instagram post. Especially now, after corny. all these videos of people reselling and people actually paying for it i don't know if i'm more heated as someone paying resale for a chicken sandwich or someone buying 50 chicken sandwiches and thinking they could go sell them i'm so heated uh, i want to slap people in what in half what are the resale prices at these tables like like does anybody know i haven't seen a, a table what, one with what's the retail price. what's retail oh, yeah. what's, what's retail, retail <laughs> on a popeye chicken sandwich? four dollars it's four dollars yes so what price selling 16 eight I seen that video that Skate sent me that I think dude was selling for twenty dollars. Oh my god. Or twenty five. I think he gave man's four and he was like ninety bucks or or hundred bucks, something like that. Now, it could have been a joke, but he had Popeye's chicken sandwiches in bags like the DoorDash bags or whatever, like taking them to people. No. So angry to I swear to I can't. I, I honestly I would definitely push a table over. I I, I don't think how do the Popeye's employees not Kick that and table anybody over. buying yeah. that, yeah. Pay, anybody paying resale for a sandwich about catching those on 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 site, I'm telling you right you now. Only pay resale for sneakers, <laughs> bro. You want to listen? Paying resale for something you know is never gonna release ever again, totally fine. <laughs> paying resale for a sandwich that comes that you could go get tomorrow or comes out in two weeks, three weeks, whatever. You're a moron. Huh? You deserve to be kicked into the Grand Canyon. So like, when is it? Like officially, so is it not so not restocking? Like these cats said, download our app to find out when your location will get more sandwiches in. <laughs> this is even funnier than I thought. What now? Like you said, promotion team probably deserves a raise because they came up with that. They got people to download their app for no good reason. Downloading the final chicken sandwich. I don't think people no, realize. Notify me. Click. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, all right. 
so I got a <laughs> so like so apparently <laughs> apparently a couple things were happening. One Popeyes was not telling people they were sold out until they got to the line in the drive through at the oh. thing because the manager specifically told the workers, "Don't tell them cuz when they get there and when you say there's no more chicken sandwiches, hopefully they order something else." Number one, tactic Bruh, that's marketing. <laughs> that's scum. why they got <laughs> scum. No. Hey, that's why they're getting <laughs> scum. Number one, scum. No. That's why they're getting cars driven through their front yeah, door. You're probably right. Okay, come Just on. Just be honest. Man. We used to get people mad at people with sneakers, and they wouldn't tell us if stuff sold out or not. What are you talking about? How my face hurts, huh? Don't be. Don't do that. What? We used to that's get heated when. It, yes, it is. How is that not the same? We're talking about a. We're talking about a, a consumable good, like. Come on, man. If you want Popeyes, you want Popeyes. No one wants Popeyes. That's the point. <laughs> they just want that sandwich. It's hype. I can't. I, 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 have a, I find it hard to believe that a chicken breast isn't just as... That's what I'm saying. It's just chicken. Like, <laughs> like I don't get it. That's one, that's one thing. <laughs> Number two, uh, the, the drove through the building right here in Phoenix. Um, <laughs> what was the other thing? The tables. God. Uh, there are certain things that I would hate oh, to call I got a, a fantasy draft this weekend. Oh, the other one was some Popeyes ran out of everything. Not only chicken sandwiches. That's a good thing then. That's Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Not when people are in there like cussing out the employees and doing whatever else. That's nuts. How do you run out of food? Can you imagine if McDonald's was like, yeah, we ran out of... <laughs> We ran out of uh, uh, Big Macs. We ran out. No. Of, they just say our ice cream machine okay. is broken. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. See, I, yeah, but McDonald's not an ice cream place. There's a difference. I, I've been in those situations too. Where like I went to, I went to Dairy Queen. What if McDonald's told you we don't know French fries? Like, what, huh? Well, you know what's crazy is that like I look at these buildings. And I'm like, yo, where they keep all these French fries at? Like I know they got an underground, but like <laughs> you gotta really think. Uh, where are you keeping all these French fries at? And I'm like. <laughs> Half the building is a refrigerator. What are you talking I mean, about? Look, it just seems crazy to have that much food in a you building. You know where all the fr- bro, have you seen all the French fries when you go on Five Guys? They're literally in the customer <laughs> area. On the floor, all right? yeah. That's how fr- fries in there are everywhere. Potatoes. Right? Yeah. They come Sacks. out. They come out to pick the fries up and then the go bags. back and cook them. That's how much fries. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And the next day they get delivered twenty more sacks. And so when somebody pause. leave a bag with fries in it, they take it to the back and throw it in the fryer. <laughs> yes, they recook it. Um, I got a fantasy draft this weekend where, like, tradition is I bring Popeye's, not chicken sandwiches, whatever. I bring Popeye's meal to the draft. Other people bring stuff, beer, food, whatever. So the tradition is, and it just started randomly because one year I brought Popeye's, like, eight years ago. And they were like, from now on, you got to bring Popeye's. Fine. Whatever. That's my gift to the pot, to them. I was like, not anymore. Gift to the league. <laughs> not yeah, anymore. I read that <laughs> thing, <laughs> uh, that, that, that they... Popeyes was like selling out of stuff, and then I think they changed their hours too. They're open late. They're not open as early in the morning anymore. I, don't know, I guess I can't bring Popeyes this year. I don't know what to tell you, oh, man. What time is Popeyes open? It gotta be like eleven, I'm, right? I'm pretty sure they used to open at like nine because the draft would be Damn, like. Damn, who is eating Popeyes <laughs> at nine? I've gotten Popeyes in the morning before That's and crazy. taking it to That's the crazy. taking it to the. I told you about this. This is the one where we do the events yeah, to yeah. figure out draft position or whatever. Don't we we started like nine in the morning, uh-huh. eight, eight thirty. I've. I know I've gotten it and brought it before. I looked online at the one that's because it's in Gilbert. I looked on number one. I didn't expect to see that they were sold out. People, people commenting on Yelp. The you gotta one bring chicken star because the out. chicken sandwich is sold out. And then they open at 10 now or something. I'm pretty sure that's different than what it used to be. I'm pretty sure. Unless they sell breakfast sandwiches or something. I don't know because Chick-fil-A opens up early for breakfast sandwiches. I don't know what Popeye yeah, sells. Yeah, they got breakfast. They open at like 6. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Anyways, well, you got to bring chicken sandwiches to the draft then. So you better pre-order. I'm definitely not bringing chicken sandwiches. But chicken sandwiches are gonna come up in the monitor. Exist. In the <laughs> monitor, <laughs> you got somebody to said to do it like order online on their app or whatever. That's what a lot of people were doing. Yeah, a lot of people did do like DoorDash or Uber oh, Uber Eats to get their chicken sandwiches. So. It's I mean you're paying resale still. Have you ever done Uber Eats? Uh, you're not paying resale if you get that if you get the code. Code makes it free to do it. One day, like when Rosé was out of town, I had the kids by myself and they both fell asleep. Yeah, but that's, you don't know how to do stuff like that. So you probably I just do click a button. Like no, that. you don't know. But I didn't do it the first time, fam. I got a bean burrito from Filiberto. That joint bus down the street. If you're still on the, on the roof of my house, you can probably see it. That joint was about seventeen dollars. Uh, oh I was yeah, like, you tripping? God, watching watching the car on my the thing, only like, way come is down the, the street, only way is worth it to do it. You got to order like twenty items and just store them for later because it's not worth it if you get one item like that. It was heated, and I was mad the way she was holding my drink. Like it was weird. Like <laughs> so you got a drink too. That's why. 
Oh, you know, I did get a drink. I got like a Dr. Pepper or something. Anyway, what's the true crime? Look at you. All right. Share this true crime. Look at this, George. You get to guess. You get to guess. I've been in this position before. Yeah, I did. Like that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Police say a man entered a fast food restaurant and tried to swipe some cash from the register, but couldn't o- couldn't open it. So he made off with fried chicken instead. Um, something something reports man entered the Popeyes Monday morning and tried to steal money from the register, but police say the register wouldn't budge. So he grabbed some fried chicken and fled. Uh, police oh, arrested 27 year old Philip Lee a short time later in the area. He faced charges of oh, simple you got robbery. The last name Lee, I know exactly where it is. He faces charges of simple ro- robbery and simple battery. It's Japan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Japan. I already know this. I thing. only need two guesses. I only need. Oh, you think you can get it in two? Yep. You can get it in one and a half. <laughs> nah, I'd say New Jersey. That's one. I say New Jersey. Oh, the last name Lee, fam. This is in Jersey. I say New York. Who in New York? Nah. Jersey. I go Jersey. I'm not talking about Lee Chinese man. Thank you very much. I'm not talking about a Lee Chinese man either. Name, uh, name Phil. Yeah, I'm not talking about <laughs> Philip Lee. I'm going Jersey is one, and then I'm going Indiana as my second. Oh, yeah, you definitely losing. Yeah, Indiana. Because it's either Louisiana <laughs> or Mississippi. It's Guaranteed. Be, no, it's not going to be in the South. Guaranteed. He got it. Yeah, yeah. I told you. <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah. No. New Orleans. Yep. See, that that, that might have been Popeye's headquarters. Uh, that might have been like. <laughs> headquarters in Miami. That might have been. The, but Popeye's headquarters in Miami? Yes, it was bought by a company. The original oh. owner sold it. Man, that's whack. You they must have an, went I got to, one more if you want to do another let's one. Let's read another quick. one. They must have went to the first Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of the man jumping in the window? Wild. Did yeah. y'all hit him with the broom? Yeah. I'm embarrassed, man. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, man. It's a chicken sandwich. I'm not trying. I'm not speaking. Top against- five chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Ingo's Tasty. Uh, this ain't in order, by the way. Ingo's Tasty Food, which is right by my house. 40th and um, Campbell. That's across from LeGrand. Fire. Hattie B's in Nashville, like the original Nashville hot chicken sandwich or whatever. Fire. Um, what was the one you said earlier that you want to go to? Uh, Monroe's? No, 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 no. I said that. There uh, was one you said you went somewhere. There's supposed to be a good one in L.A. called Gus's. I've never been there. The one in L.A. that I would go to is a Nashville hot chicken place. That's the one um, Skate was talking about. That's it, a, it is a Nashville Howl, hot chicken. Howlin Ray's. Oh, that, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah, it was Howlin Ray's. Ray's. That's but the, the one. The wait there is like three hours sometimes yeah. for lunch. This podcast I listen to, they talk about going there all the time. And like they, they did this thing where like he's trying to like. Well, they finally. Wait, st- they're, wait, he's trying to like have people w- pay him to wait in line for him. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, they, well, Howlin Ray's or somebody r- related to the company finally started a Twitter account where they tweet out what the wait yeah. is. So now you know, like, if it's 30 minutes, you better zoom there because, bro, people wait three hours. No, you can't get I'm me I'm trying to, to remember. It. I was think, just thinking about them earlier. Hattie B's, Ingo's Tasty Food. There was one you said earlier. Uh, oh, uh, District Donuts in New Orleans. Phenomenal. Um, can't remember what the other one was. Chick-fil-A? Oh, uh, <laughs> the place. I can't remember the name of the place, but the place in Cincinnati where we went to eat with Hannah's cousin. Fire. No, not Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A not even on the You get a lot of chicken sandwiches, dude. Fried chicken on a sandwich with uh, Honestly, hot, was, a hot aioli, oh, pickles, right. and slaw. Okay. Put this table over, huh? I didn't say it wasn't good. I just, I never go had that on, desire to go eat on chicken Instagram, sandwich. Go on Instagram and look up Monroe's Hot Chicken and look how big that. Matter of fact, you got to watch the video because they actually did a Popeye's video and it'll <laughs> actually make you laugh. Huh? We're going to lunch. What's that other true crime? All right. But look the look up how big the sandwich is. Like, yeah, it's twelve dollars. I get it. But look how it's about three meals. I mean, it's one Ooh, meal for me. But look, look at how that stuff big it dripping. Is. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look how shiny that bun it's is. The same cat who owns Lolo's. Good lord, that looks like pretty, pretty freaking yeah, good. Yeah, I heard that's good. I might love it by myself. I'm oh, heated. Damn, we're not going to lunch on Friday. I'm, I'm heated because I time. haven't gone yet. All right, here we go. Minutes after being released from jail, a man was arrested in the parking lot for breaking into cars. Uh, Casey Lewis was a free man for about 15 minutes, not even leaving the grounds of the jail, where he'd been locked up before being arrested again. The 37-year-old had just been released <laughs> Thursday, uh, where he'd been held on grand theft charges, according to an arrest affidavit. Wait, so what did he do again? He tried to steal a car in the parking lot when he just got out of jail? Oh, <laughs> my God. He got to get home. Uh, <laughs> that got to be Florida. Florida, Tennessee, 
Idaho. I'm going to pick three different states just because of that. You said New Jersey earlier. I'm going with New Jersey now. Oregon. And... Fam. We're State going of Washington. Monroe. We're going to Monroe. Greg's got it. What is it? It's a, it's a Florida one. I tried it's got to be a Florida one. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I said I'm picking yeah. three different states that you didn't pick. Their mindset is different. Bro, when I looked at that website today on the IG, you watch the IG yet with the uh, mini-me? You got to watch yet, that. Bro. I don't want to say the M word, but just use mini-me. Yeah. <laughs> little man, little person. Bro. Bro, he has so much trouble climbing on top of that table. <laughs> what? Just watch it real quick. These waffle... Oh like yeah, I'm getting the bro, waffle when I go as there, the buns. See, you, no, no, you don't understand. When I go there, Man, fuck Popeyes. Yo, <laughs> you don't understand. When I go there, I'm getting the chicken sandwich I'm and waffles on the side. I'm gonna get a and few like an egg right. on the side of that. Yes, I'm having breakfast and lunch at the same time. That was fire. Oh, look at that dust. Oh, mm. now I want a chicken sandwich. Uh, this looks better. This yeah, looks way better. good. Anyways. It's only open from 11 to 4. The hours are kind of trash, but and it's closed on Sunday. But Yo, they obviously got them joint that stock X, Plenty so. of time for us to... <laughs> all right? Plenty of time for us to go. I know who that They're is, They're not authenticated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, enjoy, look at all this that stock X ordered. The one out here. Look at all that Monroe's chicken. That must have been a party or something. Man. Pull up. Yes, pulled chicken. It says, call Monroe's <laughs> for your next catering. Homies, catering. homies Orton, huh? Yeah, you know that's done. They, <laughs> yeah. they must have took off that mini-me thing. I hope they overcharged <laughs> them. Bruh, people been going at StockX on Twitter lately. I mean, I guess they always going at StockX, but StockX sent a tweet or something. Somebody sent a tweet about the only way to guarantee your authentic pairs or something like that, and all the comments <laughs> were like, all these people that got fakes and, like, sent shoe. This cat... Sent shoes in and like what StockX sent him back, and then he sent. Now, granted, this is Twitter, so it could be made up. Who knows? But the, and then he was like, "Now these are the pictures I took before I mailed it in. It was two different shoes, like not two different model shoes. The same model shoe. One was untied, and like the, all the stuffing would have been taken out. The other one was like brand new DS, like it just came out of the factory. The raw, the, the homie Cadillac Jackson." Shout out to Cadillac Jackson on, on IG. Like, and he on a Talking Kicks. There's another Instagram, I mean, another YouTube show. Like, he showed his account. Like, he tagged us. Like, they changed his stuff. Somebody had bought sneakers on his stuff. Like, all this crazy stuff. Like, they were. Oh, yeah. Stuff. People were talking about getting their account stolen, too. Right? I really don't want to talk about StockX anymore because it doesn't matter. But, like, fam. Uh, like, I really thought, like, man, everybody business accounts get hacked like man come on yeah. change the stuff get it. it happens all the time dude somebody bought eighteen thousand dollars worth of stuff on this other dude's account and this guy was tweeting like crazy he was heated and they wouldn't respond to nothing like and he said that they wouldn't do a paypal refund paypal wouldn't refund it because it was a something a instant something i don't know what it's called like he was like, like gifted I don't, I don't know what it is like whatever their instant pay instant it might have been like an instant uh, pay type thing and he was heated they're like StockX, they get trashed Man, on social media. I saw media. someone post a GIF like StockX authenticating shoes, and it's that security guard that's like, oh, that one guy. <laughs> like, like, go. Just, I'm going just go. All the burners got inside <laughs> of that party. Um, uh, that's funny, but yeah, StockX, boy, they taking a beating. Uh, like I said, we're going to yeah, do top 10 Kobe's. Goat.com slash sneak disc. Goat.com slash sneak disc. I was just on there today looking at stuff. L season. I know they better send that. All right. <laughs> um. Oh, let's pay some new bills. Oh, B. matter of fact, who watched Hard Knocks? Who has seen Hard Knocks? I haven't yet? seen one episode. No. Oh yeah, you tripping? I don't care to see the Raiders again on there. I only want to watch it. So we... they've never been on. Hard Knocks. They've never been on Hard Knocks. What are you talking? Oh, about? I might watch it real quick. There. I thought they've been on it before. I feel like I've seen the Raiders on there before. The Raiders have never been on Hard Knocks. If you think Al Davis would have let them be on Hard Knocks, so you are a okay. fool. Okay, let me go to this. Is it, is it better or just as good as any other seasons? Because there's been some depends, whack seasons lately. It depends what you're looking for. Nah, there's never been a season that's whack. Buccaneers season? That was whack. Texas season? That was whack. It doesn't matter. You get to see behind the scenes of the you're NFL. Right. That's you're tight. Right. What I'm, are you talking about? I know. I'm tripping. I'm just lazy. I haven't watched it. I'm watching the Stranger So right? this year is the first year, and granted, it's because I it's my team, and I follow all their, so their media or whatever. Not the team's media, but like the people in the base area will cover the team so they said before the hard knocks even started 
that the team has a big say in what's shown. So like in previous seasons where the general manager let him put a camera in his office and then you would get all the conversations, I like the that. Raiders not allowing that. Well, of course, of course not. not. So Mike <laughs> Mayock has been on the show really not at all unless it's just like them catching him talking to like Gruden not on the field or like when he actually made the statement about Antonio Brown to the media that was already a media statement. So I read an article about it today. Somebody was analyzing it. So that's one thing I noticed is like, I already knew the Raiders weren't giving people as much inside access as other teams in the past did. I didn't know, number one, the team had a say in it. But Me neither. after reading that, I can tell now, thinking back on the season, about all the stuff that other teams did that is not in this show. But it doesn't make it any less entertaining. You're still seeing behind the scenes of an NFL team. Now, every year people fall victim, victim to the, like, Oh, I'm a, this team's going to be good without fail. You know what I mean? Team was hard knocks. Oh, you feel that. like you know the players better than any of than, you know, except your own team. It's like curse, right? It's a hard knock curse. Yeah. No, nah, because it's the like Browns were 8-8 eight eight uh, last year or whatever and like a couple missed field goals away from making the play. I mean, they could have lost some other games too, but they were real close to making the playoffs and I think people had them like 5-6 wins. So, I don't want to say it's a curse. Well, I think it's more of a curse for fantasy owners. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll agree with that. I and I fall victim. Like I'm a, what? Oh, like, drafting players. Like, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. Watch, I'll watch. I'll yeah. watch that and be like, I think it's I think it's Giovanni's year. And be like when the Bengals was on there, I was like, yeah, they always had another like, guy that's Freeman or Freeman on the Falcons. I was like, this is it. Then he ended up being good. Yeah, he's yeah, never that, been whack. He's oh, uh, though when I drafted him, in the I kept getting concussions. I was well, like, yeah. So there might be a year where somebody gets injured or something, but there's not a year where somebody just like fell off when they were on hard knocks. I mean, mm, I think Hopkins, I think got hurt. Oh, ah, maybe he was the number one receiver in the league, right? I don't now. know if he was that year when he when they were on hard Hopkins, knocks. I don't know, bro. Hopkins and PPR is like a Love number Hopkins. four overall or five overall. Might be the best. I think, I think he's the best receiver in the league to okay, me. Okay, no, he's not. But but mm-hmm. in fantasy, because they have nothing else there, he don't drop passes. Well, yeah, you're right. 100 percent catch rate. Antonio Brown, one drop all season. Let's throw that in there. Speaking of an Antonio Brown, <laughs> let's pay some new bills. Yo, it's a new season, fam. <laughs> AB is on the Raiders. Did you see? Okay, so you haven't watched the episode yet, but I'm going to just ruin something for you real quick. You can't ruin real sports. <laughs> All right, so in the first episode, you might have seen it on social media already, but in the, fir- in the first episode, Antonio Brown said something corny when he was on that air balloon coming in. And someone, you saw it? No, but yeah, I mean, he was on the air balloon coming yeah, in. He, was a, he flew already. in the camp on a balloon. So, anyways, <laughs> hot air balloon. He flew in the camp on his head. <laughs> he had, he yeah, had hot air. <laughs> hot air. He made Supreme. That was up, funny. <laughs> yeah, all right. That was funny. <laughs> his head. All right. Uh, he flew in the camp on that thing and said something really corny. So, somebody at the last game had a sign that was like, what he said was float like a butterfly, sting like AB. Oh, that's fire. That's fire. The, when you see it on the hard knocks and you see the man behind him who was like, looked at the camera like, <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> you could have laughed. <laughs> Somebody made the sign at the game and it said, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And it got AB and someone else on the sideline like, bro, how you missed the sign up? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. Anyway. Hey, you trash for not buying that Supreme stuff as soon as you saw it on hard knocks because you should have known better. Uh, we've done that before. As soon as I know, he didn't wear the hat. The hat you didn't. The, no, no, he wore the hat the, against Arizona the second game. He I didn't wear that. Wore, I thought you saw his in hard no, knocks. No, he too. had a beanie. Okay. He had the sweatshirt on and a beanie. Okay, first of all, Supreme clothes don't fit me. Number one, all no, right. The resale, like because I don't think the sweatshirt was going that high. Double X black or white is like four hundred. It's like three million. Oh, okay, oh, okay. I'm talking about for myself. No, no, no. I just I'm I'm not talking about you to own it. Like the hat, the hat was only like fifty dollars. Before hard knocks. Yeah, no, it's now one forty yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, the hat, bro. I didn't realize that it was a forty-seven brand hat. If I would have known if it was a well, Supreme forty, yes. Oh, I, I seen that. Brown wearing that one. Looked online. We love forty-seven like hats. Forty-seven brand. What? It didn't even say Supreme times forty-seven brand. When we did the, I'm angry. Well, I watched our Cardinals game and saw. I hate Supreme, line. but oh, that hat is fire. fire. Well, Supreme is dope. Huh? I hate I them, but I like some Supreme. Stuff. No, Supreme's trash. Go ahead. And the stuff. Now listen. It might be the company might be the coolest company in terms of like we collab with everybody. That's dope. I like it's dope to me how they collab with a lot of different and not even only like different clothing brands or whatever. They collab with like cats that make Swiss Army knives and cats that make lanterns and cats that make yeah, like it's nuts. Kayaks. Yeah. (laughs) 
say that kayak and Scott still have that one story every time I go. New season. Greg's running back's not there. You got a new quarterback. Le'Veon Bell with the Jets. Beckham in Cleveland. It's fire, no? It's going to be a fire season. One thing that hasn't changed where I'm putting my money down on all the games, my bookie is the place to bet on football every weekend. My bookie has better bonuses and more prop bets. I can confirm the bonus thing, by the way, because I used to have accounts with different websites, and one of them doesn't even offer bonuses. So, my bookie has better bonuses and more prop bets than any other sports book, period. This year, they're hosting the first online handicapping super contest, similar to what they do in Vegas. First place is guaranteed to win at least 100K, and it only costs $100 to enter. All you got to do is pick five NFL games against the spread every week to climb the leaderboard and sh- and score your share of the huge cash prize pool. I w- what? <laughs> <laughs> I would only recommend a service to my listeners that's been good to me. That's why my bookie is always the right play. You bet, you win, they pay. A lot of places don't send you that check. My bookie has live in-game betting on every NFL game. They got the most rewarding player perks in the business. And for you fantasy guys out there, you can even bet the over-under on how many fantasy points a player will score each game. Zeke, oh. zero. <laughs> uh, Antonio Brown, 45. All right. Up to $1,000 first deposit bonus. In other words, double your bonus that you put in, or double your deposit. So if you deposit five hundred, you get five hundred up to a thousand. Use promo code SneakDis. N, damn, I can't even spell S N E A K D I S S to activate the offer. Visit my bookie online today. That's M Y B O O K I E, and don't forget to use the promo code SneakDis. S N E A K D I S S when creating your account to claim the bonus. Bet, win, get paid. Keep in mind. Make sure you know the laws of your state. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> Make sure you know the laws of your state. Make sure you are well versed in the laws of your locale. All sneakerheads, you want to make some money, cop some sneakers and stuff? You better go on my bookie. They'll double it. <laughs> my bookie, promo code sneak this. Make an account, put some money in it, double it. Get on there and bet. I was going to ask you, since this is George's realm of expertise, what are early bets you can make now? Like Super Bowl and MVP and stuff oh, like yeah. that? There's a lot of stuff you can oh, make. Okay. Well, it actually brings up the Andrew Luck. We probably should yeah. just talk about of Andrew course. Luck because yeah. it brings up some of the Andrew Luck stuff. Yeah, you can bet on who's going to win a division. You can bet on who's going to win the Super Bowl. You can bet over under total on the record when loss. If you think, you know, say you're the Cowboys are like set at nine and you think they're going to win 13 games or whatever, you would bet the over. Mm. Um, you can bet props on who's going to pass for the most yards, who's going to rush for the most yards, who's going to um, have the most receiving yards. I'm sure there's props for most touchdowns. MVP is a prop. Um, offensive player of the year is a prop. And then in each league, they have all that stuff, too. I mean, there's a million props. You can get bet on all that stuff before the season. If you can get to a book that has, like, early lines, you might even be be able to bet on games. Because lines come out probably, like, three, four months in advance, maybe even further than that. They're called advanced lines. Some books will let you bet it. So you could bet a game that's, like, week 14 with some books. Whether I don't, I'm not familiar with my bookie, so I don't know. Um, I haven't signed up on a site in like three, four years. I might take a look into it this year. Um, a little extra money laying around. <laughs> you know what I mean, um, yes. but the bro, there's not another website I can tell you right now that has the like double your money deposit bonus. I mean, that's crazy. That's a good thing. Go to the website. I want, but yeah, you can pretty much bet on anything if you can find a book that'll take your money. They'll take it. Yes. So with the Andrew Luck thing, we saw people making bets yes. for MVP. Some got refunded, some didn't. Right. So I, I asked like one of the foremost experts. He works for ESPN, and he lives in Vegas. I think he lives in Vegas. Um, and on his Twitter, it's funny. It says like he's not a good sports better himself. He just works in the industry. So he said, um, I think points bet and... What was the other one? Oh, the Westgate. So the Westgate is used to be the Las Vegas Hilton, and it's now the Westgate in Vegas. It has the biggest sports book in Vegas, um, the one where they do the Super Contest, which uh, my bookie is doing online now, similar to that. So when they talk about the Super Contest, that happens at the Westgate. Um, and so anytime they talk about Superbook, 
that's what their sports book at the Westgate's called. So the Westgate refunded, and then I think he said points bet refunded or, or something like that. What I asked him about was Stations and Caesars because I think they have the most, and then MGM is the other big one, but I think they have the most sports books in Vegas outside of those. And you said that they – He said he didn't know. He hadn't heard yet. Did you ask about injury in preseason? Does that count? Um, It does not count because it's an injury. Okay. So from what – that's why my basic understanding is I've never read the super duper duper fine print. Every single bet has action. If the sports book wants to treat it like that, they can decide to refund you. It's in their best interest to refund you in that situation because a return customer is better than right. people boycotting the site. You know what I mean? Yeah, give them so, their twenty dollars. Yeah, back or you know whatever. what I mean. Like the little amount that you're gonna bet on that one bet pales in comparison. That if they refund you that, you'll just rebet it immediately, probably, or bet ten times that throughout the year. So as much, I mean, it's like you know, Directv or whatever. They'd rather give you a discount than have you cancel because if that happened with everybody, they'd be out of business. So, but yeah, you can pretty much bet on anything. Um, with luck, I don't think anything's like that has happened. I mean, when was the last time someone retired before? In the third week of preseason, you know what I mean. Um, I feel like defensive and play, maybe, like no one, of, no one of his. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. maybe, and no one who's in the MVP race. Like, oh yeah, no. You know, I doubt there's a sports book out there who'll take a, a M, like a maybe an MVP bet on Aaron Donald, but no one's gonna take an MVP bet on bet on, um, Sean Lee, for example. I'm not trying to hate right. on Sean Lee, but just trying to think oh, yeah, of somebody you who you know who's <laughs> okay. Sean Lee's a good player. I'm He's just saying, like nobody Chandler Jones, like no one. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anyone's taking an MVP bet on bet on something like that. But an uh, MVP bet on Aaron Donald, you might be able to find. Right. But I don't think we've seen anyone retire in general like that, and definitely not someone who people are placing bets on. And that's why I say, like, at, to me, it's different than an injury because. The player's not voluntarily leaving. Right. Now, what will they do with, like, Zeke and San Diego? I keep saying San Diego. Chargers, man. Because I'm sure they had some bets on them, most rushing yards or right. most touchdowns or whatever. Who knows? But I would about, assume those about, like, guys. Like, Le'Veon Bell last year. Yeah, I don't know. Because that's what. Because they what come I understand, back at any time. Yeah, yeah. from what I understand, uh-huh. if you if you have a ticket, unless it explicitly says it on the ticket, like baseball, for instance, baseball has a type of bet where you can bet if that starter starts only or on the team. So, say the starter gets scratched from the game, your bet is automatically refunded. But it says it on the ticket when it's printed out. Oh, okay. Football doesn't have that option. You can't say like I'm going to bet on the Colts unless fault. Um, luck starts they don't have that well y'all and, they, sh- and there's definitely not futures for that kind of stuff were y'all shocked about luck uh, yeah, uh, I, absolutely I really bro oh. i was asleep and when i woke up like not only did y'all text me but i had like five or six other people text me too i was like my guess george don't care i didn't say nothing i was asleep <laughs> i was like but nobody does that like mid preseason for right just because you can't take the grind so you bothered by it? It sounds like you're I mean, bothered by it. I mean, he's not my quarterback, so I don't right. care. But if it might, if he was my quarterback, I mean, you saw they were booing him. That's kind of <laughs> trash, though. Bro. That's trash booing him. Um. Okay. Let me say. I this. think timing is the trash part. Let me say this. I don't think very many fans were a part of that booing thing. I think it's a lot smaller portion than they're making out to be. I agree. I personally would not have booed him. Because I, I never understand booed in my life, when people though. do, I mean, boo the other team. I never booed? Is it actually booed? Oh, yeah, I have. Really? I have, I have a ton. Really? <laughs> I've only done that the Apollo. I've, I've, I've booed. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That was it. I booed the Dodgers. Uh, yes, I booed the Lakers. The I've booed. <laughs> only booed Arizona Rivals. <laughs> the Dodgers, the Lakers, Spurs, everybody. <laughs> Boo! You guys actually like boo! Yeah. Really? Oh, I've never was... booed my own guy. Of course not. I mean, I've yelled like you know, what are you doing, or something oh, like course. that. But but yeah, definitely. 
I yelled some crazy stuff at the Cowboys. What's the difference then? I mean, you. I okay, know. Number one, you at the top, so nobody heard you. Yeah. So. Oh no 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 no! All right. I mean, the fans heard you, but no 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 at the top. <laughs> <laughs> My ticket last time we went was fifteen hundred dollars. So no. Okay, that's different. You didn't pay for it. You're right, but I don't <laughs> sit at the top. Me. I don't okay, sit at the one top. time versus all the other times doesn't mean like. Other times we're at the top either. We started at the top. And now, now we're here. here. <laughs> <laughs> These yes. are facts. We're like just right above the lower level. No, no, a little bit more above the lower level. And then like they're like, you look, up, you look back up. Oh, no. It, you got to see the building from the inside to realize that you're never, if you're at the top, bro, you might as well be in space. Like, yeah, you watch the board the t- only. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I watch the board on anyway because the board is so big, like, it's just in your face. Last time that closed, I watched the game, but it depends. Anyways, right, I yes, wasn't your expert. Look now, of course, I felt like the need to like act like I was right when he retired because I've always never trusted it. I've Bro, always he's said made he's a bust. Four Pro Bowls, right? And went to the playoffs almost every year as a quarterback. So you saying he's a bust is wrong. No, it's wrong. It is. I understand why you sticking to your guns. Oh no, I'm not sticking to it now. I'm not. I'm not. Like he you no. texted that on that night. I did. I'm being a jerk, but I yeah. don't think he's a, Andrew looks a yeah, great you quarterback. Petty. You talking about? I'm petty. You petty. I. I. I you said, Tom Petty. I. Oh, yes. I, a Richard. You Richard Petty. <laughs> I said I was gonna. Th- I was gonna. I said he should have got MVP last year. You know? I was like he was freaking good last year. Now did I expect him to retire? No, but I've always thought Andrew Luck was a weird person. You know? Like I just. Yeah, he's always been a weirdo. I mean, the way he talks is weird to me. You can't have enough deep very voice deep. when you look like that. No? He looks. <laughs> you can't talk. Like Come yeah, on, he, man. Like a Neanderthal. And this is just Punk, us bruh. being funny. Like, look, we're not being mean, but, but his voice has always been crazy. He's about to stop and make re record Barry White's like, album. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but look, you can't be mad at somebody doing that thing. Now, look, I will admit, I don't know betting, one thing, but if I bought season tickets to the Colts and that's happened, oh, I would be. I think people, I think they're refunding them, though. Really? I think. You can get a refund those season tickets? I mean, people. I, well, it's probably thing, another thing, thing that's just like Vegas. Like, if a sports book wants to refund you, if it's not on your ticket, they can to be nice. If the Colts want to refund you, they can. Here's the thing about football. Like, if you have season tickets and you're a fan, it doesn't matter if your team sucks. You're you keeping know. the season tickets. Because there, there's you're a waiting saying list. that as a Cardinal fan. No, no, but we can't say that because we don't. Bruh, no Green Bay Packer fan would ever cancel their tickets no matter what. Bear, like all those historical no, no. teams, Colts. The, maybe. But if maybe I, if the I Bears. had Cardinals ones, I wouldn't. I mean, I could buy Cardinals ones. Man, Bulls. what? No, I'm saying like if you were a Tampa Bay Buccaneers season ticket fan and that something happened. You think there's a waiting list for Tampa Bay Buccaneers? No, no, no. Certain teams there are, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think the Colts yeah, yeah. would be Green one Green Bay? Yes, maybe. You're right. Uh, I'm just Minnesota saying, Vikings, probably now that they have a new stadium. I, I'm just saying I love football so much maybe that that wouldn't be enough for me to cancel them. Like, I still want to go watch football. Because they're back. I mean, Bersette's not that, not bad. Like, Colts get oh, in the playoffs. Oh, he sucks. They went 4-12 four, four when Whoa. he started okay, last Okay, that time. as a rookie... First of all, no, he wasn't. A rookie. No, he was a rookie. He he first rookie. rookie star- I mean, he played in New England first. Yeah, but the first time starting as a starter. And plus, still sucks. This year, he's getting to prepare fully. He's only taking first team reps since the thing. Do they make the playoffs this year? No. Because this Colts team no. is might be better. The best Colts team ever. It doesn't matter. Did you see what Vegas did to their odds? Vegas put a move them to the cellar. Okay. What do you mean? Of course, they know more than we do. Okay, Colts make the playoffs. Should we go? No. To, we're gonna do what we were gonna talk about about like who's making the playoffs, who's not. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that too. So I'm gonna say Colts make the playoffs. Still You're smoking. Huh? Their division is. It isn't like everybody in the division is that much. Their division is trash, but it's but it's it's competitive trash. It's not like yeah. there's not like one Patriots. Like they weren't the Patriots. It's not the AFC East. It's a it's a division where everyone can beat everyone, but they got the worst quarterback in the division by far. Okay, this you don't want to be eight and eight in the AFC because you're not gonna make the playoffs. Well, nine and seven is probably not going to make the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. Either. You still got Pittsburgh and, all, and Ravens and all those other teams, but that's not. The that's point. why the Colts aren't going to make it. They, yeah, but they may not no, even no, win Colts five games. Though. Well, I know exactly. Mm, they make the playoffs. It, this to me, okay. Let's put it this way. Okay, Based you know what? On Maybe what? I don't want to. No, no. I don't want to say that yet. Let me say this real quick. I read this after he retired. The manager, the general manager, Ryan Grigson, who most people are blaming, most people around the Colts are blaming this on, like their fans and whatnot, who love luck and aren't mad luck did whatever. He, they, but everyone looks needs a scapegoat. He drafted three offensive linemen above the seventh round in Luck's entire stay in oh, yeah. Indianapolis. Are you an insane person? Yeah. 
If you pick a quarterback number one overall or in the first round, if you have another first round pick, it should be an offensive lineman or a wide receiver. The very next year, tackle, left tackle, right tackle should be your first pick. I don't care how bad your defense is. Of course, their lines have been trashed. This year, they got probably the best line ever. Might have a top 10, top 5 line this year, possibly. I mean, if, if so, they lucked into it. I don't know how. They have Quentin Nelson. I yeah. know they have him, but I don't know who else they have. Their line is supposed to be really good this year. Like, How do you pick three offensive linemen above the seventh round in Luck's entire tenure, and they were all turned out to be whack? You have possibly one of the greatest 10 players in the NFL. That's a, yeah. That's Not history, but in the yeah, league yeah. at the time. Um, he took a beating. Like, it, I would tell you, the next person I could see doing this, like just randomly out, is Cam Newton. Cam Newton takes a beating and is always injured just like Luck. I could see he, him being like, you know what, I'm done with this. Like, nah, but he's he's a kind of like a prima donna, though. He he likes to have that spotlight. I don't see him doing that. <laughs> Luck hated the spotlight. He Luck locked, wanted nothing to do with it. He likes the spotlight, but being hurt all the time and taking the criticism that he does... I don't know. He likes to dress. All right, that's the spotlight. That cat was in Walmart dressed like I can't even say these words. He was just crazy. All right. Um, playoff teams. So, out of all the playoff teams this year that made it last year, what teams don't make the playoffs? You said two. Right. Pick two, right? Pick well, two. Hold on. Tell me which team. I'm going to tell the teams that made the playoffs last year. Colts, Texans, Kansas City, Chargers, Patriots, Ravens, Saints, uh, uh, Cowboys, Seahawks, Eagles, Bears, Rams. Are we picking two in each conference or just uh, two total? Two total that made it. Two total that won't make it this year that made it last year and uh, two that will. Okay, give me the NFC one more time. Oh, can't, fam. I didn't write it out like that. <laughs> Look, Colts. You, yeah, you did. You read them in order. You Colts, read the AFC first oh, yeah. and then Colts, the NFC. Colts, Texans. I don't need AFC. I need NFC. Oh. oh uh, you said Cowboys, Cowboys, Bears. Cowboys, Saints. Sorry, Saints, Cowboys, Seahawks, Eagles, Bears, Rams. And pick two? Who's right. going first? You I'll mean? go first. I, I think Colts. Absolutely. And then I'm going to say the Seahawks. That's easy. Oh, I don't know about that. In our division? In the, in the Cardinal division? Yeah. Man, what are you talking about? I mean, the, who? what two teams make it? Uh, I'm going to say the Falcons. Oh, yeah. They, they should always make it. They suck. I hate the Falcons. And the Jags. Nah, you smoke. Oh, Jags ain't making the playoffs. So Jags suck. No. I mean, that division, like you said, it's... They have, they have a better shot now than they did before. I mean, they have a good defense and a new quarterback that's better than Boyles. Yeah, and Boyles, I didn't even know he was on, what, the Niners or something? All right, this is going to be controversial. I can already tell you. <laughs> now, now, I don't know if you guys will hate on it or if it'll be listeners, but it'll be But somebody. the Falcons, you know. Falcons should the, always now, make now the Dirk playoffs. Cutter, Dirk Cutter's back as offensive coordinator. They're going to be a okay. lot better. Dirk Cutter is one of those people that are overrated in everything on earth, no, but he finds not, the best jobs ever. No, he should be an offensive, offensive guy. He yeah. should yeah. never be in charge of anything. Yeah. Never. He's Personnel, a great offensive whatever. coordinator. All right, Colts, obviously, because their quarterback just retired. And number two, obviously. Bears. Oh, that's a good one. That's That was the other one. I was who, makes it? Into it. who makes it? That might be controversial. Who? Uh, in the AFC, I mean, you got a lot of choices. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with the trendy pick in the AFC, the Browns, obviously. I don't think I'm going to pick the Browns. I'll go with. Um, you got to put Raiders in. Yeah, right. I think the Raiders might be pretty good. The thing you about haven't even watched Hard Knocks yet, and you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- those two divisions are tough, though. That's the problem. Because, like, well, you got the Steelers, Ravens, and Browns all together. I mean, the Bengals suck. but And then you got the Chiefs, the Chargers, Broncos, Raiders together. I mean, that's a pretty tough division, too. Oh, yeah. You're well, right. wait. Okay, so Patriots made it. Steelers, Ravens made it. Steelers didn't make it. Steelers made the playoff last year. Oh, I thought you said they made it. Okay, then Steelers mm. is my pick oh. then easily. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. that's my pick, too, changing it. Change it to the Jags to the Steelers. I got Rams not making it. That's crazy. Steelers and I just don't yeah, you, see it. Yeah, you smoking around. Rams not making it, and I got Texans not making it. Steelers and did the Vikings make the playoffs last year? No, no but they should. Yes, uh, Steelers and Vikings. I got the or Rams. Packers. Either one. <laughs> I mean, you know what? This is hard because I would re- I have to replace somebody like. I guess I would say Jaguars make it then. I guess I'm taking the Texans out. Oh, you I'm going to tell you one thing. Deshaun Watson, I think he might be whack. Though. How are you taking the Texans out? When that's the only team in that division worth a shit. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't think. No, no, man. I think, I think, I think Colts make it. I still think Colts make it. I think Colts make it. I think Jags get in. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Andy and say Jags. quarterback league. I'm going to go with Andy and say Jags. All right. 
Um, Rams, I just don't, I just them. don't see the Rams getting back in the playoffs, getting the playoffs this year. So who's gonna I win don't. the division? <sighs> Seahawks win the division. I think, yeah, I think Niners get in. What? Niners. Ugh. Seahawks win the division. <laughs> Niners. Get, I hate the Niners. All right, I'm a Cowboys fan. Bro, you better chill out. Yeah, you probably got like Eagles out or something. No, I don't. I said Rams out, Niners in, and then I got Texans out, oh, Jags yeah. in. Oh yeah, you tripping? No, I see that. I foresee that. All right, and Colts are gonna make the playoffs. All right. I'm sorry. If okay, if they don't make the playoffs this year, oh, then we could say Brissett is one of the worst quarterbacks of all time. That's how good I didn't this say team he's is. One of the worst. quarterbacks oh, no, I will. Of all time. He's oh, no, I'll say whack it. though. I'll say it. Anything else sports related? Oh, you know, one thing I hate is Miami chain and stuff now. Uh. <laughs> I love it. You know why we love it is because we love Miami and the culture and the history of Miami. That's why we love it. But when you lose, listen, man, listen, you listen, know listen, how listen. trash it is when you lose. That team is not good. At, listen, yeah, okay, you have teenagers on the team. I understand why you didn't watch the game though. Yeah, I did I watched some of it? You were asleep. I watched some of that. That put me to sleep. Man, that <laughs> game was. Uh, I watched the first half. That game was an abomination of football. Like the way they both teams they acted. Got sacked ten times. I'm aware. Oh, the defense of Florida. Uh, is pretty good. All right, the the line, uh, the line the is the line is, is the line. good. It's not the line. it's not ten sacks a game. Good. Bro. They could play like a, a FCS team next week and get three sacks. Bro. I mean, the way both teams Miami acted, is not well coached. Oh, their coaches at all. are a, a nonsense. All right, I don't think Florida's coach is that good either. All right, the, both coaches are trash. Who's huh? their coach? Dan Mullen. Oh, Dan yeah, Mullen. he's trash too. Trash. Bruh, that game. When every time they did something good, you would have thought this was for the national championship. Both teams. Silence in the cr- chains, rings, all oh, this crazy nonsense. Florida Florida. I don't even care. No, they don't play bro. that often. They what do you expect. That's fine. They both suck. Like they both suck at football. The quarterbacks are whack. The the O line on Florida might be one of the worst O lines I've ever freshman, seen in my entire life. Freshman, I think like. both of them are. I don't know. Not no, not Frank's not Florida. Is Franks is a junior. He's third year. So. Miami quarterback is a true. I don't even care. Both of them are a nonsense. Now the rings and the chain and stuff is funny and cool, but but when you lose. Bro, I, no, no, no. I it's not even lose. It. If your I team is it, not bro. that good, you shouldn't be doing any of that. Bro. Now, again, it has to do with. And I love one, Miami. Number one, they're trying to recruit for the next year. That's why. That's why they do that. It, shiny stuff gets <laughs> teenagers <laughs> that go to school there. Why do you think people like Oregon? That's the only reason they like Oregon is because of Nike, and they got fifty-seven uniforms and shiny uniforms. That's it. They're pretty good teams, though. Because of that, yes, because <laughs> they get kids there. It's all about recruiting. That's yeah. why Alabama gets everybody because. Nick Saban. Ooh. Alabama gets see that's the difference. It's Alabama and USC and a couple other teams are as plain as it gets when it comes to the uniform. They'll never change it in a million years. They get kids because of their history yeah. in the school. Ohio State. USC Notre is Dame. having problems right now, obviously, because their head coach is terrible. Alabama is not because their head coach is really good. They don't need schemes and And whatever if you're to get good, kids. you you you're gonna get drafted. Say, that's what somewhere. I said. Nick Saban says, Look how many players got drafted. Oh, that's all that drafted. matters. So. <laughs> um you talk about uniforms. I'll talk about baseball uniforms too. Trash. Real quick, baseball team. Other than the be- that could win the World Series, that can give somebody a hard time. Do you guys think the Twins are that good? No, I haven't watched them. I do. I don't watch. No, AL I've been catching up games. on baseball. I don't watch AL games ever, so I don't know. I think Twins are pretty good. No, if you're looking for an underdog or something, the A's are better than the Twins, and, uh, and A's are better than the Twins. But I think the Rays are better than the A's. Oh, I don't know about that, but. I mean, who's the favorites right now in the AL? The Yankees and Astros? Because yeah. they're going to win the – well, more than likely the Yankees are going to win the division. They got they got more competition than the yeah. Astros, obviously. Yeah. Them but the Astros pitching staff is ridiculous now. Of course. Um, See, man, yeah, it is. They, they, they take steroids it. down there in Houston. But. All right. Settle down. What's up with hey, you Granky, Houston Granky's players? Granky's huh? lossy hasn't got any better. He hates <laughs> Houston. He'll be throwing 98 by next year. It takes like six <laughs> months. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate Houston. I just hate when things look fishy. That's what I hate. Oh, if, right. if Kershaw went to Houston, he would start throwing 98. Trust me. Man, he can only hope. He needs to ask. I don't got anything else. It, for it's hard for me to believe guys are throwing 93 and they go down there and then they're back up to 98 the very next season. That's that's my biggest problem. And I don't mean like throw 93 for like a year. Like 96, 95, 94, 93. <laughs> you're trending like that and then all of a sudden you're back at 98. <laughs> I don't like stuff like that. <laughs> All right, let's do top ten Kobe so we can go home. Though. And they've done it with I'm a lot starving. of guys too. They I just got that sandwich. guy. They got the guy before they got Granky. They got the kid from Toronto in that trade, whose career numbers are awful. But he throws hard and he's like a strikeout guy. 
the first start he had, he threw like a one hitter through seven innings or six innings or something like that. Unbelievable. Aaron something. Pitching coach. No. It ain't pitching coach. They got they good got coaching. Huh? All right, settle down. Although I will I'm say. I'm not being serious when I say I that, say, but it's fishy. I'll, all right? I'll, I'll, Altuve, like sometimes I watch him play, I love him. Obviously because he's a small dude. Yeah, I used to love ball. Altuve until that World Series was hitting the ball everywhere. I, was <laughs> but I will say my favorite non-Dodgers player in Major League Baseball is Bregman. Attitude of course. and skill level, whatever. Alex Bregman, I wish the Do- he was a Dodger. Fire player. The Dodgers wish they had a lot of stuff. The Dodgers are going to win. It's, it's going to be Yankees-Dodgers World Series. Well, you just got done talking about Houston, and now you're saying Yankees-Dodgers. So What? There are good teams in there. I think Houston's I, My sleeper team is the, is the Twins. I although I don't gonna make it. trust the Twins, but rematch. Uh, we'll see. Um, you think Houston's going to be in the World Series is what you're saying? Uh, top 10 Kobe's. Let's do this so we can go home because I'm, I'm starving. Wait, really I haven't quick, had any, lunch. Nothing any today. thoughts on Dwight Howard on the Lakers? I don't know if Dwight Howard that has Shaq, any thoughts. <laughs> I didn't see what happened, but that Shaq joke today had people in stitches. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see, see what happened. Either. Kobe did an interview or something, and Shaq added Kobe on uh, social media and spelled Dwight D-W-I-T-E. Uh. <laughs> like, is that how you spell it? But he was like, and somebody else, somebody had tweeted like something at like 9.30 a.m. before Shaq said anything. It was like, oh, Kobe doing interviews. You know this is going to end. In, you know this is going to end in somehow Shaq clowning Dwight Howard. And somebody retweeted it with like a fire emoji. Like, he was right. That's trash, Shaq. Well, Shaq been treating Dwight Howard so bad. They, uh, someone said I saw it. funny, though. If Dwight you know Dwight, more about the story, yeah. tell it. Because I don't uh, know the background. No. I, like, well, I didn't hear Kobe's interview or anything. Kobe and Shaq were going back and forth. Kobe said if Shaq was in the gym more, they were 12 championships. And Shaq said, oh, okay. if you would have passed me the ball in the Pistons series, we would have won that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, Dwight Howard said he's going to wear number 39, and someone said, like, oh, that's going to be your free throws percentage for the season. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he wearing 39? I'm just, I'm just weird people. Well, 39. Dwight Howard's a weird person. He's become – actually, I don't that, know if all he's the, weird. All that though. stuff that – Hey, yeah, man. You, 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 know, you know what I'm talking about. All that stuff from that last was weird, year. Though. He had to get out of there. Yeah. He, I didn't realize he'd been on so many teams, though. Nobody <laughs> like, wants him. Like, on a ton of teams. Uh, he's been on five teams in the last six years. Uh, that's crazy. Um, um, top 10 Kobe's. Let's yeah, do this. Where's my list? No at? joke. I'm starving. All right. You probably deleted it. Uh, if I did, I'm going to be heated. Oh, I guess you're going to have to go on my list then. Bruh, no joke. Where's my list? What would you, what would you put it in notes? I emailed it to myself. I mean, check your trash then. Check Why would it be folder. in there? Because you folder. probably accidentally deleted it. If you swipe to the right or to the left, weird, it always does that. It does it to me all the time. Oh, that's, that's it. I just literally looked at it when, earlier when you said copy list. Um, What's going on here? I thought I saw you with it on a piece of paper. Nah, this is a... Uh, oh, I thought you had a different piece of paper. About to be MyBookie.com. Yeah. Promo codes need this. Come on, George. You ain't got your list. Trash. All right. I'm dead serious. I emailed it to myself and I checked. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> nope. Check your spam. Well, then while you find it, we will go first. Do you got any honorable mentions? Yo. Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you got any honorable mentions? What's the deal? Are you in Google or Yahoo? What are you in? Are you found, in the right? Found an important mailbox. Why is it not just in my regular mailbox? Because it's because you probably clicked the star or something, Bruh, What just happened? Do you have it? I just had it and then I clicked something and it went away. Bro, what did you? What are you using Tinder? What is happening? <laughs> the messages disappear. What's app? Snapchat. Whatever that stuff's called. I don't know anything about that stuff. What's your honorable mentions, Andy? Well, so I, I honorable mentions of that like HTM pack on the nines, like the multi knit. They're fine. Those are cool. I like the colors. Yeah. All right. That's why they're honorable mentions. I think all the HTM, I was overrated. I, I, I like them because of the colors sometimes, but I really don't care for them. You're that talking much. about the 10 low? 10 and the 9s. The 9s yeah, too. Nines and tens. Weren't the nines like green? Yeah, th- there was like a white one that had like a bunch of multi. Yeah. And then the black this one is about too. That upset me. I think they Did you listen to Little Brother yet? No. I'll shoot you. Found a gun. What else you got? That's all from honorable mentions. I have zero honorable mentions because Kobe's a whack. You smoking <laughs> rock, bro. Kobe's a whack. Man. Fire colorways and specific Sean. models. Man. Honorable mentions: Kobe Five Dark Knight and Kobe Four Del Sol. And the reason why that was the first one I had, the first of the Kobe run that I copped. You really like Kobe Dark Knight? I, 
I looked at him again. I was like, God, that's kind of fire. You smoking? Uh, I have normal mentions. Kobe suck. You're insane. <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go my bottom five first. Y'all good with that? Yep. Number ten. I got Kobe one undefeated camos. I don't like Kobe ones at all, but Kobe one undefeated camos. Those look nice. Huh? I like those. Number nine. You must have seen them on Saturday. Number nine. Kobe. <laughs> eight, number nine. Kobe eight Black History Month. I like those. Those are, are dope to me. Like I like the pattern on them. I like the way they look. <sighs> number eight, I got Kobe nine moonwalks, the purple joints. You wore those, right? Those joints are fire. Uh, those clean. are underrated. They shouldn't ones. go in the top ten. No, they're underrated, but they shouldn't go in the top ten. Okay, you don't have Miles Davis in the top ten, so you don't get to decide that. Because once you said that, null and void it. Uh, no, I knew you as were gonna. As much as I we talk were, about yeah, it, yeah, but I knew you were gonna put it in there. Number number seven, I got Kobe eight superheroes. What I'm wearing right now, love these ones. I think these are one of the better ones. And number six, I got Kobe six 3Ds. Kobe six 3Ds are done absolutely right. Them joints are fire. And if I had a twelve, I would have kept it. Fire, Andy. Okay, number ten. This is the first Kobe I ever owned. So that's why I'm putting it. Wait, in wait. There. Y'all put like Adidas and stuff too, or? No. Nah. You could if oh, you wanted to. I did it. Oh, all right. Yeah. I, those are whack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just making sure you said no. first Kobe owned. Top, well, no. I, I said earlier, I didn't start buying Kobe's because of. He liked top eights. So. Like, I didn't. Crazy eights are fire. And top 10 2000s are whatever fire they too. Are. Top eights, crazy eights, dookie eights, whatever. This is the first Kobe I got because, like, I want to buy Kobe. I'm a Suns fan. Like, I just never did. But uh, the Kobe 8 Python, those were the first ones I got. <laughs> he had those, the green ones. They're like brown. Them joints and, are fire. Yeah, they're like a olive-ish, greenish. Them. them joints were clean. Yeah. I thought you had those. Beat those. I, but top ten. Them. That's the first one I bought. So All that's right. why I say. Uh, number nine, uh, Black History Month eights. Like you put fire. In those are dope. I had. I never had those, but I had the KD ones. Uh, they well, were like fives, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what you're about. That was the worst. One of the worst things of all time. Yeah. I bought the nurse in those. Those oh, splash. Oh my god! I the, had the splash too. The <laughs> HM Kobe eight suck, and you of all people should not have what money. you this right here. Yes, that joint is fire. You literally talk on the show about how you hate Kente print, and then you talk about that. Hey. I said that last year. Kobe AIDS came out, I don't know how many years ago. But it's it one was of the reasons. Fine okay. Back then. No, it wasn't. Still because Still doing no. it now is like, fam, can y'all do something else different? That, that's one of the ones that got you to the top of the steam meter. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what you no, talking it about? It was part of the buildup. No, it wasn't. Oh, suck. I can't no, it believe you. We weren't even doing a podcast time. then. We had Kobe Yates. I understand that. That's still... So you saying you only got angry in the last three years? No, your anger built up. Fam, I'm like, you still making these this many years later? Andy, go. <laughs> suck. All right, Incredible so that's number nine. Balls. Number eight, I had the Kobe 5 <laughs> Bruce Lee fire joints. Yeah, I, I like the them. yellow. Uh, you know, they inspired the you Kyrie one. You got Bruce Lee's on your list? No. Oh. Uh, number seven, I had the Kobe four gold medals, the Olympic. Oh Chase. yeah, those are fire. That's one of the best Kobe. That might be the best Kobe four ever. Stop it. That one's fire. You're crazy. Stop it. Uh, and then number six, I have the Kobe 9. You need a psychological evaluation. Huh? Kobe 9 Moonwalkers I was wearing this weekend. The purple on those I, joints. Oh, no wonder clean. you put them on your list. You saw him wearing No, because I've always liked those. Oh, right. I wanted to buy them from Jebediah, but he wouldn't give them to what me for was, a good price. All right. What was the other nickname? Of what? The Michael Jacksons? Okay. There we yeah. Go. Yeah. I mean, it's Moonwalkers. Make, sure, make it sure, fam. Dang, what you got for your body? Those could be my oh, favorite sure, ones, fam? but there's better ones. But Joints are fire. I Just wear those with making sure every, every Suns outfit I have. Like, yeah, you fire. wearing an entire Suns outfit with Kobe's on is a little disrespectful. <laughs> what if he wore? Wild what if he wore Kobe's from the pack? From what? Suns Kobe's. If they're deep, if they Devin Booker's, fine. Okay, and even that's a little crazy though. You know, Kobe got a Suns a Suns version because he owns the Suns all the time. Yeah, they're his son. But he did <laughs> own them all the time. The Suns, Suns, Suns put him out of the playoffs a ton. <laughs> No, no, he put. I remember out. watching he put that. the Suns out when it matters. Though. I remember watching that series when he hit that shot over Nash or whatever, and they went up 2 0, and all Laker fans were hype, and the Suns, I think, won the next four in a row. They were up 3 1, and the Suns. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was 2 0. No, that was 3 1, and then they came back and won, where Tim Thomas hit the. The I don't. Yeah, I don't remember how any of it went. I just know. Well, that's the series. Roger knew, Bell, like, a lot of Laker close fans. Line Kobe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and then they're like, "Oh, they're never." And then the next game, that was when Tim Thomas hit the three 
and did the face wave over all the Laker Tim fans. Thomas, oh, that was the one. And then oh, game somebody... seven, Kobe laid an egg. Oh, yeah. He and, did, he passed the ball like a million times yep. instead of shooting. Yeah, yep. yeah. He was like, oh, I want my teammates to try to win it or something like that. Because everyone was clowning him I remember for like being a ball. I was in Mexico when that game was And the Suns won played. by 35. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about someone who had a lot of talent and wasted it, even though he still played by about a good twelve years in the league. Tim Thomas. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. Good. Used to be one of my favorite villain. Lord, loved him. Yeah. All right. He should have. Everybody thought he was K KG. I mean, he was a, probably a little bit after KG or whatever. But everyone thought they were like that was the new, yeah. the new player. And you saying Steve Nash not top ten point guard of all time is blasphemy. Oh, look thank at, you. Look at all those people that thank he you. made better. Matter of fact, and got him. Just put all your comments from last episode in right now. <laughs> top girl, top whatever. First yep. of all, I didn't say he wasn't a top ten point guard all time. I said if someone asked me top ten point guard all time, Steve Nash wouldn't have came to mind immediately oh, for me. Oh, that's not what you said. Yes, I did. And I asked the room, and the room was like, "Oh yeah, you're right. That wouldn't have been somebody I would have thought of." Definitely not what they said. Rewatch it. It said, uh, yeah, you're probably right. I, I wouldn't have thought that. I, I wouldn't was have there. I don't need to rewatch it. it. Because no, right. it, off the top, I didn't say he wasn't a top 10 point guard. I said, it wouldn't be one I would have thought of immediately. I just wouldn't have. There's others I would have thought of first. Not to say he wasn't. I wouldn't have thought of him first. You're, Is he my favorite point guard? Top? No. You're an insane person. And I meant to say Jason Kidd, too. Jason Kidd, yeah, I would have run my team. Him. I would have run my team. You're an insane person. Okay. What number you say 10. yours? Number 10. Kobe 6, Hollywood, 3D, All-Star Game, whatever you want to call it. 3D fire uh i remember clay thompson or uh not clay thompson Derek williams playing for arizona 2011 wore those in a game versus washington state and i already had him at that point i was like bro he out here balling in 3d he's a fire another bus player <laughs> uh he's firing uh, euro league right now uh-huh. he's like the best player on that whatever that team in germany is i bet he is the soviets all right euro league is like the next best league uh kobe eight number nine kobe eight christmas Number Ooh, forgot about that one. I yeah. had that in there and took it all. I did not. The about fire that infrared, infrared, infrared. Can't even say it. Infrared swoosh on that joint. Turns it clean. Makes it. Uh, number eight, Kobe six chaos. Are you wait a minute? Did you say eight already? That was eight. Number eight, Kobe oh. six chaos. Yeah, it was fire. Fire. Number oh s- no, no no those suck. Kobe five chaos. No fire. no, you're thinking yeah. reversed. No no no. no. Look Kobe five chaos are better. Or jokers. Find their jokers. No, whatever. Not. Look it up. No, they both had them. What are you talking about? I know what I'm talking about. I had the Kobe five ones. Kobe Look. five jokers slash chaos is what they were called. Kobe six chaos is no no. Look, yeah. Look it up. What are you? I'm looking at. They both had chaos colorways. Joker colorways. What are you talking about? I understand that. That right there is not better than the other one. One thousand percent. Okay. Then the well, six. I'm gonna show you right now. To me. Then the six to me. Look it up. That was way better. I don't better. need to look it up. That shoe is not better no. than that shoe. That one's better. Five's better. That one's better. Thank you. Cool. Well, that's good. Not to me. Eat dung. What you got? Um, Chaos was number eight. Number seven, Kobe 8 Elite Black and Gold. Grail forever. Them joints are $600. Wait, wait. You got a one number? Number seven. You're crazy. Them joints are $600 on GOAT for a size 11. Those should be... Uh, way higher than that. Why, why is that? And go. Number six, Kobe 5, Bruce Lee. How it's not on your list is beyond me. <laughs> There's a lot of colorways that are fire. Like, you can't be mad that somebody doesn't have anything on the list unless no, no, I, it's Miles Davis. No, no, I'm mad because you said Kobe sucked, which you're an insane person for. Oh, no, no. Kobe's as an entirety, which I've said before, as an entire line, sucks. There are certain models. Oh, no, Four, five, six. Eight. You doing That's four, about five, it. six with that face is nuts. All right? Fine. Because those are four, all for way Four, go. five, a certain maybe nine. Four, maybe. five, six, eight, nine, ten. All fire. All fire. All right. Seven suck. Fire is strong. Seven suck. Oh, as a matter of fact, AD's fire. We're not doing that. Don't do that. No, no, I understand that, but don't say they're not fire. Don't do that. Well, that's the thing. Like, no, no, no. Don't ten, say they're not ten, fire. 10, 11... AD, all they all look the same. The even the same ones way. that, even the ones that came out, like not this most recent one, but the, what's the one from that just came out that people are still wearing? AD XT, that whatever. Fire. Do you see the new You're ones? Right? Do you see the new ones like the Don't high count, top? It what are you talking about? That high yeah, top. The, the yeah, the new ones suck. It, yeah, they suck it looked good. They suck balls. I like no, the way it looks, looks, but of course it sucks. Really suck. All right, fine. The Kobe ten high or whatever when he hit, tore his Achilles suck. Yeah. Can I do my five? Maybe. Top five. Can you? To me. Shut up. Kobe 4 Olympics. Gold medals. The, the best Kobe 4. Period. Nope. Number four. Kobe 8. 
black and gold. Might be the rare one of the rarest Kobe's of all time that like actually came out in a store. It might be. Number three. If anybody has a Kobe 8 black and gold and they want to sell it for retail, let me know. <laughs> Number three. Kobe 8 EXT Reds. Yeah. the fire. Yeah, you're right. Number two. Kobe 6 Grinch. Number one. Kobe 5 Miles Davis. Uh. When was the last You time? had Grinch 2? And you don't even got this other one on there? Of course I got Grinch 2. I'm not going to have it. Number one joint's like a $2,000. No, a it's not. It's not and that, but so what? what? I don't it, like. That's because it's there's, the listen, best one there listen, is. There's no. one thing. Okay, when you say like undefeated fours is whatever, like Grinch crazy. Grinch that too. Hold on. No, it doesn't. No. Grinch actually came out in like Foot Lockers and stuff. And what people you, have them. Like, what are you talking about? You're right. Nobody has Miles Davis. Nobody. When's the last time you seen a Miles Davis five? On Miles Davis, probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. The last time I seen Miles Davis five was when I put it in the box and shipped it to whoever <laughs> I sold it to. Kobe, I mean, that Kobe, Andy, what you got? <laughs> All right, number five. I have the Kobe four Del Sol. Mm. Fire, it's an OG colorway. Mm. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, number four, I have the Miles Davis. Of course. Number Whatever. respectful. Number three, I shiny, really huh? like these joints. <laughs> <laughs> the, spats. I really like these joints. The six Barcelonas. Which like one? The, which one? The mango one. Mm. Okay. I know you don't have that in your top five. Mm. Uh, you're tripping. Mm. You're ridiculous. Uh, those are. It is by far one of the best two a- Kobe's. After looking at all those like lists, like the Kobe sixes are, I think, better than <laughs> a lot of people think. The shoe itself is oh, not no. better. Yeah. The colorways are fire. I love. I used like, to the, love the, the Kobe scale kind of. Yeah, of stuff. Ugh, it's, well, that's tough. Yeah, I love Kobe sixes, but Kobe sixes now. I'm like, yo, they're way over it. They're not as good as we thought nah, they were back then. Now I think they're Grinch, better than the Grinch might be a, better you, than what you like to before. throw. Like you like to throw now. top ten shoes of all time out every time you say something crazy. The Grinch might be a top ten shoe of all time. Might be, and it's definitely a top ten basketball shoe of all time. Look at <laughs> we'll have to make a list. Uh, we will have to make a list one day. Look one day we'll have to make a top ten number, basketball of all time. We'll number, have to make it. Number two, I got the Kobe eight. What the? Oh yeah, you smoking? Which one? The Kobe, Kobe eight. eight? What, oh, what right. the? If you would have said Kobe seven, what the? I like the eight better. The, I don't like Kobe the seven. What the was fire, but Kobe seven shoe sucks. Right. Yeah, that's why I like the eight. Kobe like, seven Christmas. That was like fire. One of the best what does. Oh yeah, why was? Cause they might know why Kobe Seven Christmas was leopard, purple leopard. That shit. Do we trash. ever know that why? <laughs> they were kind of tight. Though. That's fire. They were kind of tight. The shoe sucked, but they were kind of fire. And number one, I have the Grinch. Mm. That's fine. That's easy. That's easy way out. Yeah, relax. Number five. It might be my favorite personal colorway Kobe of all time, but it's not the best to me. Kobe for All Star. Look it up if you don't remember the what it looked one? like. The yep. red one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Red the hardwood one. pattern on it? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's not the, red, the it's hardwood not, it's not pattern. It's not visible, but yeah. yeah. That's what you're talking about. Fire. It's fire, of course. Number four, Kobe 8 EXT, You're the Snake Red. The one you said. Fire. I don't know why I don't wear it. It's sitting at home just I looking at mine me. sometimes. At least in the house. Every time I look online at the pictures, I'm like, oh, I need to wear that. And every time I look at it at the house, I'm like, I need to sell that. Every time you see me. <laughs> it's a dichotomy. It's fire. Where are they going for not enough. Oh, okay. Why this is not on either one of your lists, I have no idea. Especially you lived in LA. So Kobe 6 of All-Star course. Game it isn't East that LA, high. It ain't three. that high. I yes, knew you have that. I wanted to put that yes, on there. It's, yes, it is that high. It shouldn't be not that high. I had an 11. Number two? I had an No, three. I had an 11 and a half. Out of 12, I would have kept it. That's it's, the only reason I sold it. The shoe itself. Th- that's a fire shoe. That shoe is better than Grinch. Facts. No. Stop it. East LA Kobe Sixes blow Grinches out of the water. Grinches are just cooler because it was Christmas. It was a different take on Christmas, a Grinch, all that stuff. East LA Kobe's with the, the print of LA, the sneakers on the power line, the Dodgers LA, colors. the like fam. You didn't so, even have it on your list. You right. And I should have it on here. I should. I you know, you that's should. trash. I, I this list is trash now because I shouldn't have it on there. But your list is trash <laughs> too because you don't got Miles Davis. I admit it. I, I admit what I'm wrong, but your list is trash because you don't got Miles Davis. Uh, I, lo- I looked at Miles Davis online. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. So that's about shiny, 100, 161 episodes. Spats. This the one. This the one. <laughs> Hundred spats. Spats. Actually, spats. spats. Uh, Ray, what was that? <laughs> I'm trying to do the like spats though when you say that. What was that? Like Ray's, Ray's Boom Boom Room? No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Number two, Kobe six, 
Barcelona mango. You always love that sneaker, but come on, man. Number six. Bro, those mangoes that I have, whatever number that was, what's the one where you pull the entire sole out and it's just plastic or rubber on the bottom? You made the ID. All-star ID. Yeah, I wore them my three-point contest. I went one for that? six. One for seven? One for 16. 11? 10? 12? 10? No, uh, it was higher. It's 12 or 11. 11? Or it was All-Star 13, Weekend 2016 like pair. Yeah, that's old. I, uh, the Rosen wore them. Those mangoes that I have in that shoe... In DS size twelve are now going for like two forty. You still have them? Yes. Fam, you got a lot of stuff. I wore them. I can't sell them. I mean, I could sell them worn for cheap. Wear them next week. I want to see them. All right. <laughs> I wore them to your house, and I think that's the only place I ever wore them. That actually might be true. Them joints are like two forty, two fifty. I think I've got them on sale. I and I know I use a gift card that I got for Christmas. <laughs> And number one, Kobe six Grinch, obviously, obviously, obviously. is strong. Like settle the down. The fact that he wore it's that easy. shoe on Christmas to play in a game on national television is fire. They made a Grinch shoe. It's not even Christmas colors. Uh, it's literally le- neon green. <laughs> yes, I know that. But to say that he wore a Christmas shoe on Christmas on TV is fire. Like we talking? No, no, about? no, no. I didn't say he wore a Christmas shoe. I say he wore that shoe on Christmas. It's neon green, and then you put the red laces. Oh my god! Yes, it's fire. It's not better than East LA. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And I'm a Dodger fan. And no, a it's Crip not. And from LA. <laughs> 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 it's definitely not better. The, the East LA one, that's a great shoe, creative, everything on it, fire. All right. Kobe Grinch is green, red laces. That's it. That's all it is. All right. And it sells for what, 800? It's Something a like lot. That. I think uh, Legend has one. Shout out to Legend. They think he got one for like 900 or 1100. Anyways, all right, let's get out of here because I'm freaking starving. I right, appreciate Andy it's coming through. So so let's do it. I think, I don't know what's happening next week. So we got. We got my bookie for the rest of the month. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Win your money on my bookie. Take it over to Goat slash Sneak This. Yeah. Spend it. Hey, I mean, listen, obviously we have incentive to promote my bookie, but I'll tell you what, I am not lying when I say their promotion that they're doing, where they double your <laughs> upload, it's whatever, download, money. whatever you want to call it, is better than any other. There was a sports book that I went to a couple years ago, and they wouldn't take my credit card. My Hannah's probably happy about that. <laughs> but it was like a 50% match where you say you put 1,000, they'll give you 500. I've never seen a 100% match before, ever. Now, some of them have a 100% match if you've lost all your money like five times. <laughs> Dead serious. <laughs> you enter the that like players boring. club thing or whatever, you right. lose your money five times, they'll re-up what you put in the fifth time, which is cool. Right. But it's not up front. Like you put a thousand, you end up you start with two thousand. You already won. Dope. You already won. You only oh, well, get to do that with the have, promo code sneak. I dish. mean, there's probably a stipulation that you can't take the money out until you bet at <laughs> least that amount. But yeah, I mean no the put business, it in. Oop, take it all they're out. They're not stupid as a business, obviously. <laughs> right. This is a business. Appreciate about who listens, likes, subscribe, share, and everything. Appreciate Andy. That's sneak this. Shout out to us. Bang bang. Shout out. Bow, 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 bow.